and yes devil dude i am back indeed i am buddy <laughs> Well, that's a nice Ellison High right there. <laughs> and of course, a two-tone high. <laughs> Super Typhon, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Just woke up. Well, get your cup of coffee ready, buddy, because we are going to fly and stream. We're going to have a lot of fun. Flying along the breadth and width of an entire country today, by the way. How cool is that? Hey, Towel, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Doing that flight again? That is true commitment. That is true commitment right there. There he is, the inverter. Yes, I am back, buddy. I am back. I, I was supposed to be back yesterday as well, by the way. But yeah, kind of a mishap happened. I will talk about that later. It is the one, the only, Inverter. <laughs> Oz, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing, Oz? Hope you're doing well. Italian Yank fan. How is New York today? How is New Jersey today? New Jersey, oh, was it New Jersey or New York? I think it's New Jersey, isn't it? Let it be known. For us Europeans, it's kind of the thing, is it the same thing. I know it isn't, but yeah, you know, it's like Amsterdam is basically the entire Netherlands, so yeah. <laughs> Alpha One, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> it's close enough. You can basically smell it. <laughs> Well, work lurk is my, basically my forte. It is, I don't want to smell it. Stay away from it. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys, one minute and we're live. One minute and we're live. Already with the hydrate, I will not, uh, I will take, I will take that hydrate. I will, uh, you can listen to the slurp. Hope that was audible enough for you. <laughs> How is that for ASMR? <laughs> Disgusting. Fall, good to see you, buddy. I feel like this is live already or a genius intro audio. I know. I pre recorded everything. <laughs> By the way, guys. Here we go.
Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. How are we doing this fly day? Yes, it is fly day again, and we are back. We are absolutely back. Thank you very, very much there for that follow right there. Uh, Simpleanian. How the hell do I say that? Simpleanian. Simpleanian. I think I'm right with there, kind of. How are you doing, my friends? Hope you're doing well. By the way, Diedrich, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, my rock, my center. He flew that already, so sounds good. I'll take it. <laughs> there we go. Hope you are doing well, my friends. Ex, ex Nilo Mundus. I am back, indeed. I was back, of course, um, Wednesday already. I was... Oh, thank you very much for that sub there, devil dude. I really appreciate that, buddy. Um, I was back on, on Wednesday, unfortunately. And would fly actually yesterday. Yeah, but my two nephews were here and chaos ensued. I don't have any children, so for a few seconds I actually knew what it was like to have children and live in total and utter chaos. Thank God we did not need to uh, call the insurance agent. It was all fine, but yeah, there was an uh, emergency going on and I couldn't stream, unfortunately. Uh, but that means that <laughs> yesterday's flight actually um, will take place today so yeah it's uh, it's uh, it's it's great I'm, I'm so happy to be back i'm happy to kids are so much fun they are yeah it's they're like a joy that just keeps on giving anyway <laughs> it's uh, they're back with their parents and uh, they had a lovely time i enjoyed i love my nephews to death as well as my nieces <laughs> both of them so uh yeah they're they're my 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 fake children i try to spoil them as much as i can um but anyway it is good to be back. I am here. I am here to stay, my friends, and I will be streaming again next Wednesday. So that is, uh, they are the best excuse for not streaming. I know, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the thing is, I have no clue how it happened, and neither did they, and they couldn't explain it as well. The... <sighs> You're like, how? Why? The, not possible. And everything keeps collapsing, you know, and stuff like that. And get catching on fire spontaneously, exploding left and right. It, it's stuff like that, apparently. Who knew? So, uh, yeah, it's it was... Uh, let's keep it interesting. Yeah, let, let's do that. Interesting. Hmm, definitely. <laughs> Nilo, thank you very much for that sub, man. That is highly appreciated. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, it's uh, welcome back. Well, thank you very much, my friend. I am glad to be back. I am so happy to be back. As I said, my friends, um, the project is done. It's over. We are back streaming. We are back flying. Uh, on Wednesday, we already took off from uh, the car and we flew to Tambacunda in uh, Gesundheit. I know. Uh, we flew to Tambacunda in uh, Senegal. Today, we are going to fly over. Uh, we are going to fly over three countries. Basically, we are going to fly over from. We take off from Senegal, Tambacunda. We are going to fly the entire length of the River Gambia, which is basically the country Gambia. Do a um, touch and go landing at what's it called? Uh, Banyul International Airport that is Golf Bravo Yankee Delta from there the touch and go because we have to land in Gambia we're landing in every country so we have to land there but that is not the destination the destination is actually Bissau which is Ovaldo something airport and that is Golf Golf Oscar Victor so we are landing in Guinea Bissau that is where we are landing so we're taking off from Senegal flying over Gambia then back over Senegal into Guinea Bissau. How cool is that? So that is a pretty cool flight. Yesterday, uh, the uh, I, I, a special shout out here, a special shout out to both Jamel and to Towel. They flew this yesterday already because I wasn't there, and they flew it anyway. So. Hardcore dudes, hardcore. I am absolutely proud of you. And that is what makes this community so great. We're doing it anyway. We don't need Shoney. Why do we need Shoney? We'll fly anyway. I don't care. Well, that is the uh, the way to go. So yeah. Do we need a refill? Of course we do. We always need a refill. So <laughs> what is it going to be today, my friends? Well, today, as I said, bloop. There we go. <laughs> it's working in one go. Um... I am already in the USA without Joni. You are, buddy. You are, buddy. As I said, it will take a long while before I reach the... Uh, there we go. There we... Moist. 
As long as there's no leakage, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> leakage. Mm. Anyway, that's what we're going to fly today. As I said, we are taking off from Tambacounda. I set this to 2,000 feet. We are then going to fly the entire nation of Gambia, which is the river, basically. Uh, then we are headed. We are doing a landing at Banyul, heading south. We are then uh, flying all the way along the coastline and land at Bissau. So that one at uh, the takeoff, a touch and go, and then a landing right there. That will conclu conclude our flight for today. And that is the fun we are going to have. Um, let's see, clouds, not so much. It's a little bit cloudy, but not much. Uh, rain and thunder. It's beautiful weather right there right now, so we should be good. And uh, let's see, temperature, it's freaking hot. So we should be good, we should be good. Um, yes, you can actually. With a 172, in theory, you can reach Antarctica. You can. Uh, you absolutely can. Um, and I will prove that to you. I will prove that to you in about two years' time. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, the takeoff today will be from runway. 24 so runway 24 that's the one we're going to take off from it could be that you guys are situated on the other side of the runway if you're doing a uh if you're taking the hot uh, flight plan keep that in mind my friends but uh, hello right 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 there <laughs> that's uh two four so yeah it's uh that's what we're going to take off from and that means that if you load up the uh, the flight plan, it will look something like this. And it goes a little something like this. Hit it! Boop! There we are. So we are taking off right here from Guinea-Bissau. Or no, sorry, Tambacounda. Tambacounda. And we are then flying all the way along the length of the river manually. Landing, uh, doing a touch and go right here at uh, Golf Bravo De uh, Yankee Delta, Banjul International, heading along the coastline to uh, Golf Oscar Golf Sierra. Well, no touch and go, we'll fly over that. Heading, uh, fly, then flying over the, uh, the Delta right here and landing at Bissau, Golf Golf Oscar Victor. That is the flight plan for today. That is the entire plan for today. And I need to do something before uh, always on top. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. All right. I am going to make sure that the weight and balance is correct. It is. We are still on West Europe. I'm setting it to automatic West Europe right now. Yesterday, it kind of held up. We'll have to wait and see if it keeps holding up. If people start disappearing, then I will be switching back to East, uh, what was it? Asia, something like that. But right now it's still holding up. If we go to the flight conditions and you want to fly along for the first timers, uh, 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 the recurring guys and gals know this already by heart, but make sure in multiplayer you are on all players. That is very important. It is a a, a, a group flight uh, we can all join in it's just an open flight but yeah it's it makes sure you're on all players yeah i changed this and that kind of chewed me in the ass uh but yeah live players means no doesn't mean xbox live no it doesn't uh, live players actually means you're in a live setting and you cannot change anything all players means you are in a general setting where you can change either time of day or weather or stuff like that it's something we sometimes do. I have live traffic on. It's up to you if you turn it on or off. That's totally up to you. And as the weather, I have that at live weather. Once again, I try to fly in as live weather as much as possible. But um, in your case, it really doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. It's your flight as much as it is mine. Don't pull a Shoney. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't pull a Shoney. Good Lord. Hmm. That was so utterly stupid. Thinking that, wondering why oh why am I not on multiplayer? Why don't I see anyone? The data is on, everything is on, multiplayer is on, I get everything. Why am I not? Oh, hang on a tick, I'm on group only instead of live. Yeah, I have been saying this to you guys over and over and over again. And yet I still make that horrible, horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Stupidity all around. All right. Bloop. There we go. Ready to fly. 
Are you ready to fly? Here we are. Keep in mind, pilot's still an idiot. Yes, I am. Loading it up right there. It's loading. Oh, I forgot almost. I forgot it again. Hang on a tick. Hang on a tick. Before I take off, make sure I connect actually my... Boop. There we go. Keep default. And resume. Make sure I have my... Uh, my controller connected as well. Not using that. <laughs> nice livery. Thank you very much. And suddenly my livery is gone. Ish. Hang on a tag. What's going on here? Wait a minute. Hello? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's something going wrong. Let me restart this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That didn't seem right. Yuri, I will redeem that hydrate. You actually beat, uh, you actually beat uh, Jamel, I think. Kirkness, good to see you as well, my friend. Hope. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> um, so my sim just crashed. Which is kind of annoying, which means everything is unbroken now. Dang! Um, yeah. Let's fix this, shall we? <laughs> Let's fix this. Boop. Hello? Hello? <laughs> no, no, there isn't. No, no, there isn't. It just basically crashed to desktop. So... Could be that it's something with liveries. In theory, it's kind of stable. I have to say that for, it has been kind of stable, but I have been importing large livery packs. So it could be that, that, and we're still working out and seeing if all the liveries are okay right now. So yeah, it, it could be a thing like that. The thing is, um, when most people experience crashes to desktop in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it is nine times out of 10, it is not Microsoft Flight Simulator related, but what's actually waiting in their community folder. That is nine times out of 10, the, the worst problem you can get. So yeah, that is the, the worst problem you can get. If you, if you have, if you experience any crashes to desktop or issues or anything, the webcam is not in focus now, it isn't. I look kind of sharp. <laughs> now it's back. Okay, excellent. Might be that uh, the uh, the start of the uh, of the sim uh, played its part right there. Boop. All right. But the thing is, now I need to check a few things because I think Sim Toolkit Pro now got disconnected. So I need to reconnect that. Let me see. Uh, my sim crashed twice in the last two weeks, says it was due to my graphics card. Yeah, there, I believe there is indeed something going on with the graphics card. I think there is, and I think it also has to do with the NVIDIA driver, so yeah. It also has the, uh, the NVIDIA driver thing there going on. Not sure what's that, but yeah, it's... The thing is, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's always a little bit of a crapshoot, you know? You, you really don't know what's going on, but yeah. Make sure you have the newest driver. This doesn't always hold true, Yuri. It doesn't always hold true. Start the game as admin. It does help, indeed, but it doesn't always hold true. Yeah. Have major sim issues. Scruffy time as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, it, that can be a thing. Araxos, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome to the cabin crew, buddy. Sorry for this shaky start, but hey, we'll get it up and running. Trust me. <laughs> Um, if uh, you're probably new here, or if you've been a lurker for a time, then you probably know what's going on. But for those that are new here, um, pro streamer right here. Yeah, I tend to screw up a lot. But hey, we're laughing all the way. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we're laughing all the way. It will not keep us down. We will be throwing around good vibes. We will be laughing out loud. That's the thing what we do here. Laughing at each other's mistakes. And make sure, and, and rubbing it in, very important. Rubbing it in, yes, make them feel the pain. Very important. 
I mean, you guys have been reminding me of hippos for ages now, and I can't even remember when we flew in, when we flew in Chad. I can't remember that. Hey, there we are. Uh, so, yeah, what was I doing? Bleep. Here we go. Yeah, that. So, that. yeah, that. Basically, yeah. Uh, load from PC. And then we go to the flight plan. Uh, cold and dark, baby, cold and dark. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, there's actually a hippo emo. That's horrible. That is true horror. The horror. The horror. <laughs> why, God, why? Why dost thou torment me so? <laughs> okay. Uh, should be good. I think. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> oh, it's so early for shall we. Coffee. That's uh, more important. Let's do, let's do coffee. Yeah. No part. That's a hippopotamus. Hip 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 yes. A hippo. All right. Thank you very much for that reading. <laughs> yes. That looks a whole lot better. Interesting. So it's still kind of iffy. And it's doing it again. That is so strange. That is so strange. Well, all right. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, it's actually showing to... Maybe it's another plane. It's, oh, that could be. Oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, someone's actually at the same spot. That would explain it. All right. It's fine, we'll get it to work. Uh, there we go, and then, boop. Turn that on, range. Let's turn on the lights and the taxi lights, yes. Let's see. All right. Where do we need to go? Runway 24, where is that? Runway 24 is way over there, I think. Is it? I think it is. Let's see. Uh, we have, and now I should be switching over to that. Haha! <laughs> yes. All right. I need to connect my flight simulator again. There it is. Yep, yeah, runway 24 is over there. It is. It is. All right, here we go. Allison! Hello! My dear, how are you doing? It's the Schoenmeister. The one, the only Schoenmeister has returned. Has returned. Guys, do I actually need to do a shout out for, for Allison? Do I? I mean, you guys have to already be sub to her. Come on. She's, she's an awesome streamer. She's an awesome streamer. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. There you go. Go check her out. She's absolutely awesome. I love her to death. Um, all right. How are you doing, my dear? Is everything great, by the way? How is it going? How is it going? Hope you're doing well. Um, let's do that. Deep. Let's do that. And... Let's see if I can turn... Let's see what happens when I turn around. Aha! Someone was actually sneakily hanging around in my plane. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Turn to everything. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> you are a devil dude. You are the culprit. <laughs> I just recovered from a non-COVID infection and now everyone in the house has COVID. How? How? That is almost impressive. My dear, first of all, first of all, Stay healthy. Stay very healthy. Good health to you and your family. Um, but that's pretty. Ins that's it. That is pretty impressive, actually. 
it is pretty impressive all right guys let's go to flaps one we are taxiing with the taxi lights on i am going to taxi all the way to the end of the runway so follow me i know where to go we go that way <laughs> yes yes we are all right i am zooming out my uh my mfd a little bit god i love my class echo i wish i could show you guys but it's a brilliant piece of kit if you do not know what this thing is go to shakeprintssimulations.com shakeprintsimulation.com and it's uh it's it's an awesome piece of kit it's so great it's so i love it to death uh, watching and listening to a meeting at the same time, multitasking. Something only women can do. Something only women can do. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great piece of kit, uh, my friends. It, it controls your entire plane. It controls several planes, actually. And with the update coming for uh, uh, SPAD Next, actually, there is, uh, there is, uh, they're, they are now in a beta, which is absolutely brilliant. Guys, go check out Shakeprint Simulations. It's great. It's absolutely worth the money. Best piece of kit I, I, I spent on a long, long time. It's You can control your entire plane, but not only just GA, also commercial. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You have to build it yourself, though, which is really cool. And it's not that hard. It isn't. Okay, we are uh, moving and grooving. Taking a, a little while. And then we are going to take off. So make sure you are in the right position. If you load up the uh, hot and uh, the, the hot uh, flight plan, you should immediately already be, uh, be on the end of the runway, which is good. That is good. Thank you there. It's it's me, Fosi. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the cabin crew. Uh, fun fact, her last uh, um, Earhart flight was nearly 20 hours long. I managed to watch it all the way from 4.30 a.m. in my time. Longest stream I ever watched. That is nothing short of impressive, Allison. Uh, um, Allison actually does the uh, uh, reflies the Amelia Earhart fl uh, flights. Uh, also in co-op with uh, with uh, Captain Arash, another bro uh, a, a brother in another. Also a great streamer. Go check him out, Captain Arash, flying around the world in a steam gauge 172. I love that guy to death as well. I love him to death as well. So yeah, they're they're both great. So yeah, that that is long. Jeez. That is so long, but it's awesome. It is. I love that content creators have so many ideas and things they want to do with these great flights. It's. It, I mean, a lot of people say, "Well, you know, it's a Microsoft Flight Simulator is is just a it's just a, a sandbox." You know, it's it's we do what we, you can fly around in circles and that's it. Land from A to fly from A to B. There is so much more to be had if you just use your imagination. In my case, I use this to fly to every single country in the world in a one in a Cessna 172 where I can. But there are a lot of streamers doing a lot of different things. Flying around the world is, of course, one of them, and it is always recommended. But yeah, you know, it's 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 all it all comes down to what is your fancy? What do you want? How do you want it? All right, my friends, we are lined up, ready to roar. I am zooming out right now. Only eleven hours this week. <laughs> only, only eleven hours this week. Uh huh. Um, all right, we are. Let's go through the motions again. Landing lights are now currently on. Beacon lights are on. Taxi lights can go off. Well, actually, they should be on. They should be on. Uh, we need to check the outside temperature. It's 30 degrees. If it's below, I think 16 or 18 degrees, you should turn on the pitot heat. If uh, it's above, it really doesn't matter. So, no, there's no need to turn it on. What we can do is set the reference page so we know what speed to, to take off. That's about 55 knots VR. That's the one we want. And um, let's see, we have, our, um, we have our range right here. Our first leg is to the Gambia River. Actually, that is the start of Gambia. We are then leaving Senegal and heading into Gambia. So that is the first waypoint. There are nine. They're they're mostly uh, user set waypoints right now. So yeah, I am here, buddy. Can I see you? 
I have right behind me. I can see you right there. Italian Yang fan. There you are, buddy. There you are. Red Dragon, Italian Yang fan. Uh, Yang fan. Towel, Jamel, Dog's Breath. I'm guessing this is Devil Dude right here. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. All right. And we have... Yeah. All right. The gang is good to go. The gang is good to go. That's all set. Um, make sure you are on, as I said. Um, let's switch back. Let's do that. Flaps 10, so we can, are in takeoff position. Uh, let's uh, trim, so we are actually trimming the nose up a little bit. You can see that right here. I can do that either with my trim wheel or I can do it on my, on my flight stick right there. Whoop, whoop, right here by my finger, as you can see. Um, I think we're good to go, my friends. Yeah, I think we are good to go. Let's, uh, let's pump that up. Here we go. Uh, no, 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 no. 2K is more than enough. 0, 2, 0. Flight level 0, 2, 0. All right. 20. Working from home, Sony is such a treat. Well, you're quite welcome, my friend. It is so nice to be back. It is. It is. All right. Here we go. We are up. We are running. We are moving. We are grooving. We are now in a positive climb. <laughs> wiggly, wiggly. Yeah, a little bit, eh? A little bit. We have nine knots sidewind. So, yeah, that, that kind of caused it. Buddy P, there he is. How are you doing, buddy? Let's uh, f go do flaps up right there. And we are now in the air. I can feel it flying in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We are moving. We are grooving. Moving up towards... Uh, oh, let's make sure I actually keep the uh, the speed correct. Yeah, the crosswind is a pain. It really is. It really is a, a pain today. Yeah. But we'll make it work. And the thing is, because of the uh, Sim Update 10, of course, the uh, the wind actually does have a lot more influence these days on the uh, on the 172 than it used to have. It 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 really really is a lot lot more shaky and sh shivering around the place. It's it's. I won't say it's uncontrollable. It's not. But but yeah, when you have a crosswind, when it starts gusting, you feel it. You'll absolutely feel it. Yeah, it's. And it's this added piece of realism. It's getting it's getting better and better and better. You know that's the beauty of it. It's 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 always is getting better. They're always improving it. York and uh, and and the gang are always making this a better product. They have to. They absolutely have to. Especially now with the release, of course, of um, of all the uh, uh, all the commercial planes that are coming out. They have to make it better. You know. So yeah. You put a picture in the Discord to show you what we mean. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, that's weird. You just see the name tag. You don't see me. I'm a ghost. Yes, I am. All right, my friends. Once again, I am flying um, completely manual. Uh, the last few months... Before I stopped streaming, I actually started to fly a little bit more on uh, on autopilot. But yeah, I want to do it manually. I want to do it manually. There we are, leveling out at 2,000 feet. Ghosting has been... Uh, uh, been f oh, it's... Oh, hang on a tick. Is, 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 has this anything to do with... Um, there is a setting which you can now turn on, which... Uh, shows you all the planes nearby. There is a setting. Maybe it's that. That's what's going on, Italian Yang fan. Oh, hang on a tick. Just a sec, my friends.
Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. That was the missus. <laughs> that was the missus. Here we go. <laughs> Emergency incoming. No. No. I'm still here. Greeting to the missus. Hello, my dear. <laughs> so, yeah. Reading lips, <laughs> Roba. If you can do that, I think that will be very impressive, to be honest. <laughs> then you can actually know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you have my permission. Two and a half thousand feet. I am going to uh, to uh, level out a little bit. Actually, going down a little bit. That will be more than enough. Let's uh, pull back a little bit on the uh, on the mixture right there because we want to stay in the air for a longer while. And um, leaning out your mixture does actually extend your flight by a long, long while. So yeah. Lip reading in Dutch, exactly. <laughs> I wish you all the best with that. I mean, I can hardly speak Dutch, let alone lip read it. So, <laughs> so there's that, basically. There is that. Um, but yeah, um, uh, Italian Yank fan, as I said, there is a setting actually that uh, makes uh, all the planes in your uh, uh, near vicinity disappear. So it might be that that is actually the problem. Check that out just in case. It is, it is a simple setting apparently. Come on. But make sure those settings are correct. They added a lot of extra features with Sim Update 10 actually. So yeah. You did see everyone else, huh? I feel ignored. I feel absolutely ignored. <laughs> I'm not capable of reading it, so all good. <laughs> well, as I said, my friend, even if you could, I'd salute you. I'd absolutely salute you. Hmm. Nice sip of coffee in, of course, the official Shoney Gaming mug. No, you cannot get this right now. Maybe in future. Maybe in the future we'll start doing uh, merch as well. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. I already also have my new uh, iPhone cover, which is pretty cool. Don't know if sh don't know if you can see it, but there it is. Yep. <laughs> Shoney Gaming, fly anywhere, see everything. <laughs> so that's uh... Osman. Good to see you. Hey, Warrior Time Chance. Good to see you, buddy. How are you? How are you? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Now, as I said, if you want to fly along, no problem. We just started off from Golf Oscar Tango Tango on the West European server. <coughs> you should easily see us flying on the map right there. Zoom in and you should see us flying. Fly along. So, yeah. You're almost up to 3K. I know. I keep, I keep on climbing. I'm, so, I'm high on life, buddy. I'm high on life. I'm floating away. <laughs> I'm good. How about you? I'm excellent. I am absolutely excellent, my friend. I'm brilliant. I feel good. I feel good. I knew that I would now. So yeah, it's uh, and that's all I can afford. So it's, uh, come on, let's go. Let's go down, baby. Come on. Trim to one percent. The thing is. And I'm not sure if that's already holding up, but is heat actually now a thing as well? Is 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 air heat and, and ground heat actually now already a thing? Do we have updrafts and stuff like that? I'm not sure if that's already in Sim Update 10. Or if it's coming out in Sim Update 11, of course. It has to because we need to updraft for, um, for the gliders to actually work. So I'm not sure if that's already working or it's going to work, but... That would also, of course, add another level of realism to flights like these. And especially in areas where we are flying, I mean, the heat really does have influence on this. And let me see. <coughs> it's currently the outside temperature here is 22 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, that's, um, let's see, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. No, no, that's more. It's more 70, something like 70. I'm really bad at, at Fahrenheit conversions. <laughs> really am. 71 Fahrenheit. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, uh, thanks very much, buddy. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Roundabout, you know. Not really, but <laughs> kind of. That's what you get for, uh, for uh, learning uh, and, and sticking to a metric system. 
or in the American case, an, an uh, imperial system. <laughs> All right, my friends. So happy to be actually back into the to the to the plane again. Who do we have with us right here? We have uh, Devil Dude right there. That's Doniel six 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 Devil Dude. We have Dog's Breath Italian Yank fan Elron Mabon. Hello, buddy. How are you doing, Elron? Didn't see you in chat yet, but seventy one point six. Oh my God, you're back, Fire Sandy. Yes, I am. My brain is almost awake. Hence the caffeine. So yeah, <laughs> hence the caffeine. So, uh, uh, Osman is right here, Red Dragon, we have Towel flying along with us. In front of us is, of, as always, Jamel in the, uh, the uh, ever-present caravan. Will he ever switch over to a Kodiak? We do not know. So, <laughs> although I am trying to slowly coax him into the Kodiak. It's such a cool plane. It's so good. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Yay, you're so good. Nah. <laughs> never gonna happen. Never gonna happen, never gonna happen. <laughs> you got the co the Flotiac. Yes, I do have the Flotiac. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bought it immediately. Yeah, as soon as it... On, on the day of release, I actually bought it. So, uh, and there is already a livery. The cool thing actually was that um, uh, Abelt actually immediately made a livery for that. And it, it was the first livery for the, uh, the Floatiac on the server as well, on FlightSim.to. It was the absolute first one. So, first! <laughs> and Abelt makes, as you all know, incredible, incredible liveries. So, yeah really really cool but look at this my friends look at this this is so much better than that sandbox we were flying over in the sahara i am so happy to actually see all this right now we fly in the gambia river right here we just entered uh we are yeah we entered gambia we left senegal we are now officially in the country of gambia and we are headed towards Gulf Bravo, Yankee Delta, where we will be doing a landing. That's Banyul International Airport. That's where we will be doing a touch and go landing. Uh, so we get double predictions today, double predictions, which is a good thing. Because that is actually a reason why you can laugh even harder at my complete and utter stupidity. So, uh, yep. Uh, however, I have been working with uh, i have been training to land well training is a little bit of a hard word you know i'm it's not like i'm no i need to land perfectly i need to catch that minus one again nah that's not it but i have been landing a few planes here and there just to get the feeling back you know just to get the feeling back hmm? so yeah uh, the entire flight plan for today is we are flying from uh, tomakumba he, oh, he's so on that Trigger finger right there. <laughs> oh, like a bit 787. Italian Yank fan, don't remind me of the 787. For those that are wondering, why are you guys talking about a 787? Shoney, you are always flying the, uh, the Cessna 172. Well, there is this a tiny little um, achievement that is called Frequent Flyer Miles. Not many people have that one. And it's a really cool one. What you have to do to get that one is to fly from Bordeaux Airport, that is Lima, Foxtrot, Bravo, Delta, to uh, uh, Seattle Airport, that is um, uh, 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 Pilo Sierra, uh, Echo Alpha. And you have to take off from Bordeaux, land on, yeah, Kilo, uh, Kilo, uh, Kilo Sierra Echo Alpha, exactly. And you have to land on the runway there. Now, I really, really want this achievement. The thing is, you take off from Bordeaux, the headquarters of a Sobo. We have flown over Bordeaux, and you can find the headquarters actually on the river. It's there. There's a cool Easter egg. Go check that out. It's really cool. And, um... Of course, the headquarters of Microsoft is in Seattle. Has been for ages now, for, for nearly, I think nearly 50 years. Oh my God, am I that old? Yeah, nearly 50 years, I think. So yeah, it's been there for a while. Of course, Seattle, always known for Boeing. It, the Boeing headquarters and everything for Boeing is there. Uh, but um, Microsoft is there as well. I think Google is there as well, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't Google also based in from Seattle? I think it was anyway doesn't matter 
you have to to get that achievement you have to take off from bordeaux headquarters of asobo and land at seattle and that is the headquarters of um, uh, Google Search It. <laughs> well played. <laughs> uh, so, uh, um, and you have to land at Seattle headquarters of Microsoft. All right. So I tried to do this in the... Uh, no, 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 no. Microsoft headquarters officially is still Seattle, uh, Ralda. It is. Yeah. They're very big in Redmond. They are, but it's still officially, yeah. So, um... I tried to do this. There are a few planes available in Microsoft Flight, in standard Microsoft Flight Simulator, standard Microsoft Flight Simulator, which can achieve this. Um, one of them is, of course, the 747. You can do it in the 747. The other one that can actually achieve that is the 787, um, uh, the, the 787 Boeing 787 which you can uh, have if you have the, uh, I think, the premium edition or the deluxe edition or either one. So if you have the, the premium, you have them both. I think it's in the deluxe, deluxe edition as well. Not a brilliant plane, but it works. It's fun to fly, especially if you have the heavy uh, mod installed. It, it's really cool. It's a cool plane to fly. It's a lot of fun. However, um, first time I tried this was a few, I think two weeks ago. That was the first time I tried it. And we're talking about at least a 10 hour flight. This is a long haul flight. Now I tried to do this in the past. I tried to do this before. And the thing was, as soon as I crossed over from Europe to um, uh, via Greenland to Canada, my, especially once I reached the shores of Canada, my frame rate would drop from about 40, 50 FPS to five. Five whole FPS. My, my sim would instantly turn into a slideshow and was unflyable from there. Really, really annoying. So, um, tried this a few times in the past. Each and every time it turned into a slideshow. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to try this anymore. It's just a Microsoft thing in my case. Some people could actually do long haul flights. In my case, I just couldn't do it anymore. But, and here's the kicker, Ralba. Here's the kicker, Sim Update 10 actually fixed that problem. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. So I loaded up the 787 just to give it a go, just to see if it actually worked. I was like, okay, I completely planned my flight in Sim Brief. I ported it over to Navigraph, made sure that all the approaches and all the sits and stars were, uh, were correct. I programmed the, uh, the plane when it was on the, on, on the gate. Gate 9 in this case, gate 9 at, at um, uh, Lima Foxtrot Bravo Delta Airport. Everything was working perfectly and I took off. And it, I, I was just basically testing it out, seeing if it would work on, uh, on long haul flights. So slowly but steadily, the coast of Canada came up after about four hours of flying. And here I was, fingers crossed, please to God, please to God don't drop the frames don't go back to five frames per second and Ralba it didn't it didn't it actually kept up it kept going I it 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 worked no more frame dropping for me worked like a charm so I could actually fly that flight I was happy I was high as a kite I was screaming with my underwear running through the house yes finally I am going to get it yes yeah, so I landed... Okay, a little bit visual, maybe, but you, you get the gist. <laughs> and... Uh, Fire Sandy, there he is. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> you are invisible to me, too. Set your... Uh, seeing your... Really? Oh, by the way, I should turn off my uh, landing lights and my... Uh, yeah, that's strange. Maybe it's because of delivery, guys. But then again, you, you saw me last Wednesday. You saw me just fine. Not sure what's going on there. That's weird. That's strange. Um, anyway, yeah, that's strange. Ha! Huh. I'm the invisible man. I'm the invisible man. No matter where, how you can see right through me. <laughs> so, for those that uh, name that tune. Anyway, here I was, completely happy as a camper. 
Oh, no, I should be online. I should be online. Hang on a tick. Oh, no, 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 no. There's something really strange going on with uh, my, um, uh, my Xbox. Yep, I am offline again. But that shouldn't be the problem, actually. It's really annoying. Somehow, each and every time my... Uh, Appear online each and every time I uh, I restart my PC, the uh, the Xbox yeah maybe should reinstall yeah maybe, but it can be due to I, I am officially online on the Xbox app as well right now so maybe that's it, but I don't think it should be. Exactly, X Nilo Mundo, well done, buddy, well done, well done. See ahead of me. All right, yeah, but. You can see my name tag, but can you actually, when you're close, when you're near to me, can you actually see me? That's the thing. That is the thing. All right, my friends, by the way, we are still flying over the River Gambia. Down below, River Gambia, right there. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. I just saw the uh, Queen, uh, uh, the Queen uh, uh, video just show up in, uh, in Discord. There it is. You see my aircraft. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, no clue what's going on then. In theory, you'd say that no one should either see me or everyone should see me. But some of you do and some of you don't. I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah. Here I was flying the 787, continuing my story. Here I was flying the 787 and I was on approach. I was happy as a camper. I was screaming for joy. I was jumping all over the place, coming in for the landing. Very nice, captured the ILS, did a very nice landing, no achievement. So I landed on 16 left, no achievement. So here I'd flown for 10 and a half hours, nothing. So I thought, that's annoying, couldn't figure out why, and then it suddenly hit me. Maybe you actually have to plan the flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So what I did was I exported the flight from Navigraph as a Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator plan, loaded that up into Microsoft Flight Simulator, so it actually showed everything I needed to do from the gate to actually the, uh, the landing, it showed everything up, redid that flight a few days later. Still held up, no frame drops, nothing, worked absolutely fine, worked great. Did the flight again, 10 hours, I think it was like 10 or 15 minutes, something like that, again. So I started off at seven o'clock in the morning, set everything up, took off with the plane, landed at five o'clock, Actually, 5.30, actually, five, in, in the afternoon, again, nice landing on runway 16. And this has all been documented, my friends. You can see the photo. Uh, the, the, if you want to see, we have pictures of that in the chat as well. Uh, Italian Yang fan was there to see it, the landing, twice, actually. Exactly, he was a witness. And a few of you actually flew along with me. Stelvo flew along with me for a little while. Jamal flew along with me together with Amica for a little piece there of, of, the, of, of a few of the flights and stuff like that. I have witnesses. I have proof that I took off from one airport, landed on the other. Again, no achievement. Yeah, no achievement. So I was like, I've been robbed. I've been robbed. It was a cool flight. It was a very good learning experience. That's always cool. And it's always pretty cool to actually see it, to, to watch it. That's always very cool. That was Jamel, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that was Jamel right there. Uh, my rock, my center, there he is. Uh, but yeah, so, so we have proof. We have people that witnessed it. Again, no achievement. So it's, it's fine. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. <laughs> uh, is that a hint right there, buddy? <laughs> Thank you very much for that follow. Send them a stern letter. Nah, yo. Now, what we are going to do, Oz, what we are going to do is the follow. Now, we all have, free of charge, we got the Top Gun 
uh, add-on. We got that free of charge. And in the Top Gun add-on, there is, of course, the Dark Star. Now, the Dark Star can do the exact same flight. And yes, you can cheat with fuel. Yes, you can. That's completely allowed. People have done so. You can do that flight in one hour and 20 minutes. That 10 and a half hour flight you can do in one hour and 20 minutes. Let me repeat this again. You can do that entire flight in one hour and 20 minutes. So what I am going to do is the following. I know that a lot of you do not have that achievement. Either want that hour and 15 for me. <laughs> exactly. I know a lot of you do not have this achievement yet. And I want it as well. I want it as well. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an event available where uh, all of us going to uh, need to go. Nice watching you. Nice having you here, Simpelanian. Thank you very much for being here. Hope you have a wonderful day. Greetings from Sweden. Well, greetings right back at you, buddy. Greetings right back at you. Hope you have an incredible day. And... Uh, don't forget to laugh and smile, buddy. Don't forget to laugh and smile. I'm here usually on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. That's very much. And welcome to the cabin crew, my friend. Welcome to the cabin crew. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, um, uh, make sure that, uh, that I'm going to create an event. This will be open to everyone. So we can get our hands on that achievement. So we can get our hands on the frequent flyer achievement. Now, not only will you, some of you be getting the frequent flyer achievement, you can actually get a few extra achievements while flying that flight. Um, so I want to create an event where we all take off from, during our stream, take off from Bordeaux, get up to flight height, and fly this flight in an hour, in an hour. We are going to get this achievement together. Even if it kills us, we are going to do that. How about that? I will be creating that really soon. Um, maybe not next week, but maybe the week after that. I'm going to plan it and also uh, enter it in uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, 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 forums. Uh, I'm going to post it right there. I know it's not an official plane. I know it's not a real bun, but let's just have a little fun with that. How cool would it be to see 10, 20 dark stars flying in formation over the entire planet from uh, Bordeaux all the way up to uh, Seattle and land there? How cool would that be? That is so cool. And that thing goes like the freaking clappers. It's insane. Mach 9. It's insane. Five thousand knots airspeed that's madness madness i say madness <laughs> so yeah it's it's i'm really um i, I really really want to do that <laughs> of course there of course you do hmm. so i'm going to uh, see if we can actually uh create something like that <laughs> SeaTac isn't ready for all of us. I'm pretty sure they're not, but that's the fun of it. Oh my god, what's coming towards us? That cannot be right. No, it's not. It's fun. <laughs> hello. Here's the cabin crew. Say hello to say hello to my little friends. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Sandy Jones for joy that Shoney's back. Well, I'm here. I'm I'm glad you're back as well, my friend. I'm glad you're all back. And yeah, I'm back to stay. I am back to stay. As I said uh, at the start of my project, it's not that I do not want to stream. It's simply that I didn't have the time to stream. That was the thing. Uh, I couldn't just do the stream and also do the work and the project and everything. It it was just simply too much. So it, you know, it's it's. It was actually an easy, an easy, uh, an easy thing. Yeah, it's uh, screams. <laughs> so it's, uh, it was an easy decision to make. It was a really easy decision to make in the end, you know. I mean, how much I love you guys is... Uh, what achievement do you need? I need a few, actually, but the one I really want is the Frequent Flyer. The Frequent Flyer is the one I want. And we're going to fix that with, uh, with the, uh, the flight, with the Dark Star flight from... Um, uh, uh, Bordeaux to Seattle. Yeah, Bordeaux to Seattle. 
uh, which ones? Uh, actually, quite a few, but I, I, know, I don't know exactly which ones uh, Devil do. I'll, I'll see if I can make a list of all the achievements I still need. Uh, need well, there, I don't need them, but I don't have yet. So, there are a few out there. Uh, 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 Biggles, good to see you. How are you doing, Biggles? Haven't seen you in a while. So, yeah, Simrace Fly. So, no more projects like that in the near future, in the future though. Uh, are you retired or just won't... Uh, work on a project like that again. I won't work on a project like that again. <laughs> yeah, that's that was a one-time thing, and uh, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not retired. I am self-employed, um, and that's the reason why I actually have time to stream. That is the reason. Um, being self-employed gives me the, the, the freedom to actually uh, uh, plan my own uh, work hours, and in this case, uh, Make sure that I can actually fly with you on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Those are my days off. And the thing was, actually, uh, my friends, that uh, I was going to do this flight anyway. It was simply because uh, Malvius Gaming, my brother-in-law, suggested that I started streaming this together with uh, one of our mods, of course, Flo. And yeah, it's that's the reason why I'm flying this. I would have flown this flight anyway on Wednesdays. Thursdays and Fridays. I would have done so anyway. So those were the days I actually planned to do this flight uh, for myself. It is that Malvius Gaming and, and Flo actually said, no man, yeah, you have to do this on stream. You have to do this live. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like anyone wants to see that. <laughs> well. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, who knew? <laughs> that we, and, and, and here we are, my friends. About a year and a half later, for me flying, basically, it, it's actually two years. I started with the official release of Microsoft Flight Simulator when it was released. Uh, of course, there is now a six-month gap uh, in there, unfortunately. But yeah, we have been flying this flight uh, for, for quite a while. Have flown, of course, all over Europe already, both East and West Europe. Uh, we have flown over, have had a lot of fun already, flown over the northern parts of Africa, and uh, currently we are now flying in, uh, in, in Gambia, right here, who knew? Who else uh, uh, would you have to talk uh, to uh, while flying without, tagging, uh, without us tagging along? To be honest, it is funny that you say that, Italian Yang fan, because of course, on and off, I have been flying uh, when I was doing the project as well. Of course I have. No, it's not like I haven't done anything. So, um, but when I was flying, I always looked behind me and it was so empty. It was like, I, I missed you guys so much. You know, it's like, yeah, okay, there's no one there. And it's really strange to say this. I mean, it's actually really strange to say this because most of you do not have that experience, of course. But yeah, it's it's... I mean, it's so weird. It's so weird how, how quickly you actually start to miss things like that. How quickly you start to miss things like that. And I've missed you so much. I've missed you so much. So, yeah. Best country still in front of you. Yeah, well, I have uh, indeed. Of course, we have so many countries to still fly over. Uh, to still fly over. I mean, there, there's so much. We have to fly all around Africa. From there, we're heading to the Middle East. Where are we going to fly over? We're flying over uh, um, uh, South Asia, Southeast Asia. We're flying over over Australia, New Zealand. I mean, it, the list goes on and on and on. China, the entire United States and South America, of course. So there, there's still so much to see, so much to see to each and every country that we are going to and that we can visit. So, yeah. And the places that we cannot visit, we're also flying to every single state in the United States as well. So not only are we flying to the United States, which would be really easy, just fly to Washington and then head down, you know. Yeah, that, that, but we're not doing that. We're flying to every single state in the United States as well. So we're crossing that. And normally you'd say, well, you cannot reach, of course, Hawaii. Yes, we're going to fly to Hawaii as well, but in a commercial plane. We're not going to do the, the, the we're not going to recreate the flight that's actually been done in the Cessna 172. Uh, how are you going to get to Hawaii? We're going to take off from um, uh, uh, KLAX, from Los Angeles Airport, fly straight over to Honolulu, land there, then fly in the 172, then fly back. 
Uh, I am going to do that, I think, in a plane that is available to us all. So um, either we are going to fly in the uh, the A320 Neo, or we are going to fly this in the A310 if it if, if it's able to reach. I mean, in in the new update, um, we are all getting, of course, the study level Inibuilt A310. It should be able to reach uh, Honolulu. So. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that we are always flying a plane that everyone is able to fly along in as well. And if you want to fly along in a, in, in a PMDG plane, that's fine. If you want to fly along in the Phoenix, absolutely fine. I have them. No worries. What am I swallowing here? Anyway. <laughs> uh, choked live on, on stream. That would be awesome. Uh, anyway, it's... Um, it's up to you which plane you want to fly. Hey, if you want to fly this in, 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 in a, T, a TBM, be my guest. You won't be able to keep up, but it's it's all up to you. But yeah, it's a random thing Shoni says. What am I choking on? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's it's all up to you. But we are going to try the the, the places that we cannot reach. Uh, we are going to make sure that uh, let's take a dark star. We're there in five minutes. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. It could be an option there, Super Tide or uh, Bizarro. It could be an option. The A310 has a good range of uh, three and a half to five and a half thousand nautical miles or uh, fifty one hundred nautical miles. Yeah, exactly, Super Typhoon. So that the A310 would actually be a very, very good option. Because it is a study level plane. We are getting that for free, my friends. For free. I'm not kidding. For free. In the latest update, in the update for uh, the uh, uh, 40th anniversary, we are getting the A310. We are getting the... Um, hey! Fly... Uh, f there's our flow. There's our flow. Fly or flow. There he is. One of our mods right there. How are you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't spoken to you in a while as well. I need to... I'm going to call you in, in a few. Yeah, I'm going to call you. <laughs> I'm going to call you. <laughs> it's going to happen. We are going to do voice. <laughs> so, <laughs> good vibes indeed, buddy. Give my love, of course, to Indalia, who was here on Wednesday. <mwah> so, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, but we're getting that, the DC3 for free. Exactly. Exactly. Which, <laughs> cannot join today. Have lots of work. Don't worry, buddy. As always. Please don't, my day will be over. That's why I'm calling. Just to make sure I annoy the living crap out of you. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, um, as I said, my friends, uh, we are getting indeed... Uh, as as um, uh, Devil Do pointed out as well, the DC-3. We're getting the, um, uh, the Spirit of St. Louis, which is really cool. Uh, not sure actually if the Spirit of St. Louis is also uh, study level. And I don't think the DC-3 is study level as well. But it is made by Inibuilds as well. So yeah, it's... it's You know, it's it's we're getting a lot of very cool plays. That is X the Choppers and the Gliders. Exactly, Super Typhon. I was just about to say it, but you beat me to it. You beat me to it. That is X the Choppers and the Gliders. We're getting two helicopters we're getting two gliders as well and yes you will be able to actually tow a glider with your plane up to gliding height that is a, that is possible i've seen it already done on a few videos on a few youtube videos you can actually help out to get a plane up into the air that is so cool that is so cool aeroplane haven't made the dc3 i am so looking forward to the dc3 i am and once we have that, Super Typhon, once we have that, do you guys remember, do you guys remember that when I got my hands on the P-38, we were going to do a flight of, a recreation flight of the, um, uh, of the, uh, the Market Garden operation, the Market Garden operation in, uh, in the Netherlands in the Second World War. We need DC-3s for that. See where I'm going with this? See where I'm going with this? So we are actually going to do a rec recreation of the DC-3 
and uh, flying together with P-38s with Spitfires, we're going to recreate the, uh, the flight plan of Market Garden flying over from England over the channel to Belgium, then into the Netherlands, flying all the way up to Nijmegen and then all the way back over Zertogenbosch, back uh, out to England and land there. So yeah, I am really going to... 90% are going to do the D-Day, uh, the, the wings of the DC. I know, buddy, I know. But yeah, we are definitely going to do that. Definitely. I am so looking forward to that one. By the way, my friends, still flying over the Gambia here. Uh, this is the Gambia River. The Gambia River, it is the entire length of the country. This is basically what you see right here. It ends right there. And it ends on the other hand right there. That's Gambia. You are now looking in the distance where Fire Sandy is right there in the distance. That is actually, that is actually Senegal again. Right there, that is Senegal. It is enclosed by Senegal, the entire country. Scruff damn! Grandmaster Socks! There he is! Who's the strange streamer? Welcome back! Thank you very much, buddy! And thank you very much for that sub as well. You're absolutely awesome. My friends, go check out Scruffy Tam if you have no clue who he is. Grandmaster Socks, Scruffy Tam. Uh, going to do a shout out to, to this guy. He is a great streamer. Go check him out. How are you doing, Scruffy? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Scruffy, Tam. There you go. Boop. There you go. Go check him out. Wonderful streamer. And uh, he's great. Absolutely great. Give him a little bit of sock love. For those that are wondering, why are you talking about his socks? Check out his channel. You'll get a gist. <laughs> You'll get the gist. <laughs> you get the gist. So, yeah. it's uh, uh, There must be possible to do good farming here. I think so. Uh, that's I think that's the reason why they basically are hugging... The uh, uh, hugging the Gambia River. Uh, you can see the same thing happening with the Nile River. If you fly along the Nile, you see exactly the same thing. Uh, irrigation happening along the river itself. Agriculture happening along the river itself. And most of life is actually cities have sprung up along that river. But beyond that, the desert looms. And in this case, it is exact, exactly the same thing. You can see the green around the river right here. It's, it's highly obvious, of course. But in the distance, you can actually make out that it's all barren. It's all barren. No, um, uh, uh, no water out there whatsoever. So, yeah, it, the river is, um, is the country. The river is the country. And, and if you actually... I mean, of course, in, in, in Egypt's case... There's a lot of sand. There's a lot of desert right there that's going on. But let's face it, in Egypt, it, it's exactly the same thing. It's all based around the, around the River Nile. That's what gives it, the, gives it the, uh, the, the country its life. So, yeah, there's sand in Egypt. Who knew? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yep, I know. I'm a channel where you learn all these wonderful things all the time. I know. <laughs> Thank you for stating the obvious. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> Yeah, let's face it, Egypt is mostly a kitty litter. It's sand where you look everywhere, but around the river itself, there's this tiny strip of green, this tiny strip of irrigation. <laughs> and of course, you can see it right here. We are now flying along this lovely, lovely river with all these tiny little animals that are there flowing <laughs> and flying and, and, and swimming in that river right there, of course. And, and not only that, in the air, we have a flock of birds. We have what is called the cabin crew birds with all their different plumage as you can see we have a jamal bird right there an italian yank fan bird right there in the distance fire sandy is coming up close as well behind us there is a complete and tight flock behind us there i'm a f there you could say they're congregating yes they are yes they are we have a towel a devil dude a dog's wrath el roma bong bird and a red dragon bird together with a Osnomad. An Osnomad bird. You don't see them often, but when you see them, their plumage shines like there is no tomorrow. Thank you. For those that are wondering, that actually was actually a redemption or a redeem of the uh, Sir David Attenborough uh, thing. So that cost him 10,000 points right there. <laughs> Cheers.
Yes, I still have it. Ha! Ah! Hmm. By the way, guys, final sip, and here comes your mouth. <laughs> so... Italian Yang Fan beat him to it! Italian Yang Fan! Oh! Now I'm going to do this elaborately. The final sip. <laughs> A second too late. I know. That's why I'm doing it like this. Oh, do behave. <laughs> Here we go. The final sip. Goodbye, my dear friend. Alas, my dear friend, I knew thee well. Thou shalt be drunk and consumed for thy pleasure. Nope. And that was the caffeine for today. <laughs> On to water. <laughs> Make sure you hydrate, my friends. Make sure you hydrate. Hmm. All right. So, it will be grand. <laughs> oh, behave, baby. I know, I know. So, uh, yeah, we are still, as I said, flying over the River Gambia. And we are flying towards... Where are we flying towards? We are flying towards Bunyol International, uh, which is on uh, the capital Sukuta, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Sukuta or Banyul. Um, Banyul, uh, yeah, probably. And we are going to do a touch and go there. Now, it will be quite a while before we actually reach that point. So we are still moving and grooving along. It is still going great, but uh, yeah. Flying over the river Gambia, the country Gambia, because the river is the country. And uh, once we uh, reach the capital, we are going to do a touch and go. Why? Because we have to land in every single country in the world. Which means we have to do a touch and go. From there, we are going to continue our flight and move on towards uh, Guinea-Bissau, uh, where we are going to land at Bissau, and that is Gulf Gulf Oscar Victor. And that will be the end of our stream so yeah uh, did you have any strobe waffles in it no i did not have any stroop waffles today <laughs> although there are still a few waiting for me in the kitchen mm. stroop waffles oh yeah <laughs> that is every meal of the day uh, if only no 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 to be honest i wouldn't dream of eating stroop waffles every single day but yeah uh, we are going to do a touch and go, Fire Sandy, we are going to do a touch and go at Golf Bravo Yankee Delta. So, Golf Bravo Yankee Delta, let's see, that should be there. But we're still a long way away, that's like 100 nautical miles away. So, uh, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. It says we still have four hours to fly, that's a whole lot of time. That shouldn't be right. Four hours? Nah, that's wrong. Well, we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> Frikandella and croquette. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Four hours, 37 minutes. That's a long flight. I thought it was a lot shorter, actually. Like two hours and 38 minutes, but here I am. I could be mistaken. <laughs> Uh, Golf Bravo Yankee do uh, Delta. Yeah, due to work. That's no problem, buddy. That is no problem. That is no problem. So we are going to continue our flight right here and have a little bit of fun flying along the uh, the Gambia River. In this case, the Gambia River. Yeah, exactly. Two hours to go. Exactly. Yeah. I was. I'm not. I'm not sure why this is showing up like that. I don't know. But we are still flying here. Over uh, the uh, over the country Gambia, and then we are moving on. So yeah, Mr. Seagull, Mr. Seagull, no, Mr. Seagull. Uh, what has been your favorite country to fly over thus far? Um, your old man speed. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, my favorite country to fly over. I really loved flying over the the Greek Isles. That was very very cool, to be honest. Uh, don't say Chad. No, Chad was the worst one, actually. <laughs> Chad was... I'm not... I, I, I don't want to disrespect the people of Chad. Trust me, I really don't, but that... I'm not recommending flying over Chad. 
It's no. Uh, hey, Guybrush, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Bonjour, mon ami. Um, I really like flying over the uh, the uh, um, yeah over over uh, over over the Greek Isles. But I think the the most the most awesome flight I did, the best flight I actually did, Mr. Seagull, was uh, when I flew over Norway. Yeah, Norway. <laughs> exactly, Jamel. Norway. Uh, but I flew over Norway in around early, uh, late December, early January. So I flew over it in winter time. Now, the thing is, when you fly over winter, uh, when you fly over... Um, uh, over in that area, above the uh, above the pole circle, basically, um, what happens is you're cur you're constantly flying in a sunset. So if you're taking off, the sun is constantly setting, and it's it's just a tiny little sliver of sun you're getting, and it's a tiny little window. So we flew from the most northern top of of Norway. I, I actually flew. Uh, all the way up towards uh, uh, through Sweden, all the way up north, and then from Sweden I crossed over into Norway, flew all the way south. Hey, Sorhog, good to see you, buddy. Hope I'm doing great, buddy. North Cup, exactly. And from the North Cup, we actually flew all the way along the coastline south towards um, uh, towards the south southern tip of uh, of Norway, flying along those fjords. The thing is, this plane doesn't have... Uh, I think so, yeah. This plane does not have any kind of... Uh, yeah, Christiansund. Yeah, that's where we flew to. That's where we flew to. Um, this plane doesn't have any kind of de-icing. The only thing it has is, has a, is a piddled heat, which basically heats up this tiny little part here, so it can actually... Uh, measure the airspeed but other than that you do not have any form of de-icing so if you hit moisture like a cloud for instance and it's freezing your plane immediately freezes up and you turn into a popsicle and there's nothing you can do to avoid that so I was not only navigating along the coastline through the fjords but also navigating the weather and the um, and the clouds that was intense, I can tell you that. That was very intense. But because there is a constant sunset going on in the clouds while freezing, it is the most amazing sight you'll ever see. It is absolutely amazing. It's like flying over freaking Mars. It, oh, Allison! Thank you very much for that generous gift. Thank you, Oggy Og. Diederik, uh, Susie Cream Cheese, awesome name, Seppel Stremza and Warrior Time Champs, you are now official members of the cabin crew, thanks to that wonderful, wonderful lady out there of streaming, Alison Johnson, Alison Johnson, ah, and with that I'll be hopping off back to work proper, thank you very much my dear, thank you, I so appreciate that, I so appreciate that my dear, thank you very much, you have a wonderful day, First of all, you make sure you stay healthy. Best of health to you and your family. Hope to see you soon, my dear. Hope to see you soon. So, uh, yeah, it's... it's <laughs> That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing to do. It's an amazing thing to do. I, I can truly recommend flying over Norway in, in, in those conditions. It's absolutely insane. Who is this nut? <laughs> he thinks he can visit every country in that. <laughs> Someone needs to tell him that is as crazy as he is. Yes. Hi there, Airlock Dog. How are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome back to the cabin crew, buddy. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having fun today. Um, so, yeah, it's it's... Twitch being Twitch unfold as per usual. I know how it works, buddy. I know how it works. Oh, and there you are. Not only are you a uh, a, a follower again, you're now also a member again. Thanks to Devil Dude. Devil Dude, very generous of you. Thank you very much for that uh, uh, for that uh, uh, sub right there. Hype train is close again. 
on Wednesday we already had an amazing hype train. <laughs> it's it's uh, guys, your support is absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, that's actually Flo. What the the the, uh, the clip that Flo just posted there? That wasn't. Was that flying? Uh, was that the landing in Sweden or was that flying in Norway? Anyway, it's it's it was all like that. It and it's. It's mesmerizing. That's the only thing I can say about it. It's absolutely mesmerizing. If you get the chance to fly um, a plane like this in an area like Norway, in uh, Ottawa, thank you very much. Thank you for those bits. 500 bits there from Tawel as well. Guys, your support is absolutely amazing. And I will redeem that hydrate buddy there. Devil dude. Hmm. Redeemed, redeemed, my friend. So yeah, it's. It, I can truly recommend that. I can truly recommend that. But having said that, you're behind one. Well, then I will take another sip. Hmm. Let me see. Um, is this now back regular? I'm back regular. No, no exceptions. I'm regular back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby. <laughs> no, it's a. Uh, you don't know how happy it makes me to see you're streaming again. Uh, thank you very much there, Scruffy Tam. It is, I mean, it's guys like you, Allison, and, and who keep all the, all, the, all the good vibes going. That's so important. I mean, it's something I threw in there from when I started out, but keep those good vibes going. And, and the community keeps on doing that. Wee! It's the wee! It's the wee! <laughs> There's the wee! And there he is! There he is, baby. Oh, yeah. There he is. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? God, yo, thank you for that sub. A level three high train? What's happening, my friends? What is happening again? And there he is. Down below. It's the weem. To weem or not to weem? That is the question. So, yeah. it's But it's great to have you guys like you running the show and also... You know, it's 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 one of the reasons why I was like, yeah, I can take off for a little while and make sure that you guys keep keep the good good vibes going. You know, it, I'm absolutely sure. Oh my god, oh my god, what just happened there as well? What just happened there? Two Tone just got a sub right there from Devil Dude. I know he's not in stream, but that's fine. I mean, Two Tone is an absolutely brilliant guy. If you don't know who Two Tone is, you have been living under a rock. There you go. So it's, uh... oh man, that's absolutely amazing. You gifted three months to Two Tone. That is, that is excessively generous, buddy. That is excessively generous. That is such a beautiful gift. Thank you very much for that support. Three months support for Two Tone right there. It's uh, and he, he can enjoy as much of it, the cabin crew as he wants. Absolutely genius. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you right there, my friend. I truly, truly appreciate that. So, yeah. Uh, TTM is an uh, Irish version of Shoney, but, uh, but with less hair, different accent, and less flying ability. Well, kinda. <laughs> Although, I have to say, I have to say right there, Glider uh, Airlock Dog, I have been training. I have been training. I really have. Italian Yang fan with the 500 bits as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. You're absolutely amazing. About to beat your lost record. We're about to beat the record that we had on Wednesday. That's insane, my friends. <laughs> and I'm the American version with even lesser hair. True. But with multicolored socks. Something we don't... I have... Uh, I have, I'm, 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 I'm sockless. Yes, I am. Absolutely sockless. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Def Devil dude. Jeez. Jeez, jeez. Uh, Delta Vector, right? Uh, Jamel just cheered for 100 bits. We have Delta Vector. We have uh, USA, US April, I think. Uh, Paul, Professor Woland, Rookie, and Jamel just got, uh, uh, let me see. No, J Jamel just cheered and... Rookie also got a sub from uh, uh, from uh, uh, Devil Dude right there. You guys are absolutely brilliant. Um, Glider Pilot, by the way, yes, I saw you right there, Glider Pilot. How are you doing? Welcome back today. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Devil Dude is going mental. He really is. Absolutely. He's going for a new record there. 
he's going for the number one spot. So uh, thank you very much for that support. Indeed, buddy, brother, it's amazing. It's been a minute, eh, chaps? It has been. I'm surprised I didn't crash on takeoff. <laughs> Kinda had the same thing, yeah, kinda had the same thing, so, uh, <laughs> you're doing great, well, that's good to hear, buddy, that is good to hear, hope you're, uh, hope you're having fun today, it's fly day, yes, I did not make that as a mistake, it is fly day, we call this fly day today, so, uh, it's, uh, guys, uh, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by your support, by the hype train that's going on for the second day in a row, basically, because yesterday I couldn't stream, of course, but it's it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, no doubt. Now, uh, which one is Fabio, the cyborg version? <laughs> <laughs> he is. Fabio is, of course, uh, the grandmaster of them all. <laughs> he's, the, he, he's, as we call, the big daddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's, he's the big daddy. <laughs> yes, he is. The Flying Fabio just subbed right there. Uh, Devil Dude gifting the Flying Fabio as well. Man, you are on fire. You're absolutely on fire. Devil Dude, that support is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. I am truly, truly humbled by you. That is absolutely brilliant. It's... Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea... How this surprises me. It's it just blows my mind. It's blow absolutely blows my mind. It absolutely does. It's it's insane. Am absolutely <laughs> Amaranth wants a sub as well. I bet she does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who doesn't want a sub to this streamer? I know, baby. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to sit in a in a, in a hot tub. Unless I am going to sit okay, okay, okay. This is an absolute promise. If ever, if ever, Tuto. Fabio and me get together in real life and we do a stream, we're going to do it from a freaking hot tub. I'm going to tell you that. So yeah, I'm going to tell you that. So yeah, I'm doing that. Holy jeez. What just happened here? Fort New just gifted subs, Wombat, Looney, Osman, Velm, uh, S-E-E-C-G, uh, Amanamasia. We have Simare, Little Jimmy Mac, Mr. Seagull, hello there, and Mooplays just all became members of the cabin crew right here. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> Amaranth must be wondering what's going on, who is that guy? <laughs> Scruffy, that is amazing. That is absolutely hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Why did I just get a sub to a guy who's flying around the world on, on, in, in some stupid computer in some stupid computer game? It's like why? <laughs> why? Because I'm funny, Amaranth. I'm freaking funny. That's why. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, no, 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 we're not going there, no, no, we're not going there. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Good Lord, <laughs> that made me laugh so hard, buddy, <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Still a West European server, yes, glider pilot, yes, I am, I am, I am. We are currently, by the way, flying over the River Gambia right here, um, a river that's flowing full of subs, apparently, level seven, oh my God. A level 7 hype train! How? 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 Filling up the tub. <laughs> you also gave us up to Viper Strike. Devil Dude, the support you are giving today is absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Elrond, thank you very much for those 100 bits. Truly, truly appreciated. And Towel, again with the 500 bits. We're. And I don't know what's going on. I'm getting, I'm getting a seizure. <laughs> it's insane. That is absolutely insane. Fort Noob, man, you are, you're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for that incredible support you guys are giving me. It's, uh, chat, don't make him crash. Yeah, maybe I should go on autopilot now and sit down for a little bit. Yes, breathe, Shoney, breathe. <laughs> it's, uh, Twitch has changed since you were gone. Apparently, who knew? Yeah, it's like we're going up to beyond level 5 right now. 
Chad incoming. No, 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 no. S E E C G. Yes, that is a wonderful gift from Fort Noob right there. And S E E C G, you are now officially a member of the cabin crew. Yay! The cabin crew right there. You're all stuck in behind me, right there in the cockpit, right there. That's where you're sitting, right there. Ha ha! And you're all having a good time. Hey, look, a hippo right there. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Some streamers have the boost rain, uh, which recommends your. Ch Some streamers have a boost rain, which recommends your channel. How does that work? What's that? Uh, by the way, Jamal, thank you very much for those 303 bits. I truly, truly appreciate that, my friends. The support you are giving my channel is absolutely insane absolutely insane so yeah uh well, only seen a level five before thought it was as far as it went osman i thought as well but yeah apparently it, it goes beyond that right now we are we are cabin crew so we pay to serve peanuts to the us yes you are that's how i reel you all in and then make you all part of my cult Yes, <laughs> I'm making you part of my cult. Uh, Italian Yang fan, another 400 bits right there. You guys, your support is insane. It's absolutely insane. I have, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I don't think I have, yeah, we need a hippo cheer. Yeah, we do need a hippo cheer emote. Italian Yang fan, I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to make that a thing. The higher the boost, uh, it recommends your channel to new viewers who never seen your channel uh, both Merv and Fabio have th has that. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. Interesting. I did not know that. And here I am, stupid guy, learning again new things. Yay! <laughs> I ain't a cult without uh, Kool Aid. <laughs> Where's the Kool Aid emote? Um, Airlock Dog. Let's not go there, shall we? I know that reference. Yes. And uh, let's not go there. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Let's not go there. Oh my god. A level 6 hype train. That's absolutely insane, my friends. That is absolutely insane. Thank you all so, so very much for this support for this channel. It's, it's... That is, that is the perfect gift on a Friday, isn't it? That's the perfect gift on a Friday. That's all I can say. 28 new subs, two and a half thousand bits. You guys are amazing. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you all very much. And thank you all to uh, those gifters that now invited all these new cabin crew members into our cult. Welcome to our cult. I am your cult leader, Shoni, for today. Um, please put your seats in an upright position and make sure the, your Kool-Aid glass is filled. Yes, we are going to have a great ride. It's going to be a lot of fun. Short, but sweet. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. It's the end of the world as you know it. <laughs> so it's, uh, I'm just kidding, by the way. We'll be here for a long, 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 long while. As you all know, my friends, we are flying to every single country in the world. And we just flew over Europe it, it, that took us at least a year, a year and a half to just fly over Europe and the northern part of uh, of Africa. We still have the entire continent, continent of Africa to go and so, so, so much more. So I will be here for years to come, whether I like it or not. Yeah, so it's uh, that's a thing. Uh, Aussie Python, good to see you on again. Uh, haven't seen you on for some time now. I know, buddy, Aussie. Uh, I, as I said, I was working on a... A work project it was a single time a one-off basically and not doing that again we are now back full in swing having a lot of fun I've missed you all like crazy so it's uh, <laughs> okay if you're gonna sing REM in this cult I want out no REM no Nickelback <laughs> well to be honest I'm not that much of an REM fan as well so yeah it's uh, <laughs> it's a thing Ah, uh, thank you very much there, Towel, for gifting Fire Sandy a sub as well. That is very, very kind indeed, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. It's, it's, you guys are absolutely amazing. You're absolutely amazing. This is why I love the cabin crew. This, exactly this. So yeah, it, it's exactly this. All this, this love and support. People having a lot of fun right there. 
Jeffo, if you are flying along with us, Jeffo, please say hello. I just saw you show up. So uh, if you are flying along, say hello so we know who you are in chat because sometimes the names in, uh, in, in the simulator are, do not coincide with the names on Twitch, of course. So it's, uh, it's uh, ah, yes. Oh, Jeff, that's you. Uh, <laughs> you're Jeff O. I had kind of an idea there, uh, Jeff, that it was you. I mean, it's right there, of course, in the name, Jeff. So yeah, it was kind of a thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, your tracker overlay is broken. It is? Oh, that's annoying. Should be working. Uh, but, but that's the thing, by the way. I have to figure out so much again. I have to get everything working again. I just saw also that my um, uh, text-to-speech isn't working as well. So there is no subtitles currently. Used to have subtitles. Unfortunately, it's no longer working. So, yeah. I have to figure out everything again. Most of my uh, add-ons were broken. Uh, most of my subs had, ch uh, or my, 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 my settings had changed. I had to update like God knows how many times. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, like the streamer life, it's, it's so horribly tough. It's, 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 oh, don't talk to me about it. It's horrible. The things we have to suffer as a streamer. Anyway, <laughs> there's no suffering here. Ha <laughs> ha. The only subtitle you need is um, <laughs> closed captions in OBS. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's a thing now officially in OBS. It is? And by the way, the thing uh, uh, Flo is referring to is that. Keep in mind, pilot's an idiot. <laughs> Which I have proven now many a time. Recently even. I have recently even proved that I am still the idiot you guys love. And, and support. I am. I absolutely am. Yes, I am. I mean, I hear I thought that uh, one of my biggest problems was I could not see people in multiplayer. And uh, what do I always scream at the start of a stream? Please make sure you're not on group only or on live. Make sure you're on all players so you can see everyone around you. Did a complete reinstall of Microsoft Flight Simulator because I thought it was broken and could not see anyone in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, all I needed to do was actually go from group only to all players. Hey presto, it's working again. Face meet palm. Good lord. Anyway, so <laughs> just ask the hippos in the... <laughs> Uh, let me see. Oh, no, no. That's a lot of idiots, which is absolutely fine. You can say that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, uh, if we need a rem <laughs> reminder that you are an idiot, doesn't uh, that make us idiots for not remembering after all this time? Well, the thing was, I actually did it before the stream and not during the stream. So thank God I actually figured out what was going on. So yeah, from group to all players. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, I'm always on all players simply because um, sometimes I want to change the weather and want to change the time uh, just to show off how beautiful this sim actually is. Why am I at 4,000 feet? I should be descending. Um, but yeah, sometimes I want to show it off. Sometimes I go full Arnold with that. You know, you have to make the sky beautiful. You have to push up the clouds. Yeah, zah, 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 and, and make it look beautiful. Yeah, and then get down in the chopper. Today we can do that. Yeah, we now have the chopper or the glider. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's... it's <laughs> and you're off. I did see you actually. If you are on live players, by the way, uh, we can see you, but you cannot see us. So that is uh, Raise the Clouds. Yeah. Um, Devil Dude? There aren't any. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's clear skies. Shh. Between you and me. Yeah. Oh, you were on live. Yeah, okay. Yeah, then, then you cannot see us. It's uh, <laughs> Create Clouds, your god. I know. I can do that, like, click right there. And then make clouds. And make it look beautiful, yeah. <laughs> when Shoni realized one day he was solo, he turned on someone else's stream and did live commentary as if he was live. It was practice. Indeed it was. Indeed it was. Here I was, yapping to myself, as always. 
that's something I really, really had to learn again, you know? Or, or it's, it's, it's something that was so weird, actually, that when I was flying around, you guys weren't there. That was something so weird. I had to really, really get used to that, that I was flying alone. That was... I know it's, it's like uh, it's, it's first world problems, you know? <laughs> it's like, what are you on about? But still, it, it, it felt so strange, so unnatural. Because today are with us... We have Dog's Breath, El Bong, Towel is behind us, also Nomad, we have Devil Do right there, we have Ween, Fire Sandy in front of us, down below is Red Dragon right there, we have Jeff in the distance, and we have Italian Yang Fan. So uh, the group is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people, 11 people flying along, having a little bit of fun. We are, oh, by the way, guys, uh, we are now heading for um, Golf Bravo Yankee Delta. Golf Bravo Yankee Delta, we are going to do a touch and go there. We are going to do a touch and go there. So let's see what is the meter for uh, Golf Bravo Yankee Delta. Golf Bravo Yankee Delta. That is Banyul, Banyul Airport, um, Edge, Boop. there it is. Banyul Airport, right there. Uh, we are going to land on runway 32, runway 32, actually. So that is, we are going to approach it from the south, land, then take off over the ocean, and then head back again. Then we are going to continue our flight. So to, uh, we are going to land on this runway. We will be having a six knot side wind. Keep that in mind, six knots, which is, it can be steep, so, so keep that in mind. But we are going to do a landing right there. Let's turn that off again. Turn that away. And yes, I know, I know my, 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 I'm overstressing my engine. I know I am, I know I am, you guys know me. I am pushing this plane to its absolute limits so we can fly as quickly as we can around the world, even four or five nautical miles, uh, knots, uh, knots of speed extra, four or five knots of speed extra on a flight like this on 600,000 kilometers on 300,000 nautical miles. Just do the math how much time you will actually save. That's a lot of time. Trust me. Trust me. That's a lot of time. So, yeah. I prefer 140 knots or higher. Yeah. <laughs> well, 120 is the best you'll get, buddy. <laughs> as soon as I go to 140, I'm in big, big problems. Yeah, I got a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's a stall. Well, in, in, in the Cessna, it, it, yeah, no. No, 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 no. That's not what you want. That's not what you want. If you guys remember... The first crash I ever had, and that was in... Now I have to remember, where was that? That was in Estonia, I think? I think it was in, in Estonia. That was the first crash I ever had. I tried to turn up... Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if either Weem or um, uh, Flo are in the chat, I can guarantee you I only need to mention one of my stupid actions and they will confirm that with visuals. <laughs> yes, they will. I really did turn that frown upside down just before I actually said to everyone, no, this plane is not certified to do acrobatics. You should not fly upside down in this plane. You should not do barrel rolls. Within a few hours time, the first stupid action I did was actually that one right there. That one right there. So, yeah. The thing was, it actually did work. However, the reason why I crashed because, was because I started to overspeed. So, yeah. And since then, this emote was born. Exactly. <laughs> you are absolutely right. That emote comes from there. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Why, God? Why? Was, by the way, the first time we ever had to make use of the save point system. And the save point system means that if I crash due to my own stupidity, I have to restart from a save point. The chat you have chosen. So uh, I love that screen. <laughs> I bet you do, buddy. So yeah, it's it's 
uh, you guys, the chat, choose my um, choose my punishment, basically. That's what you guys do. Um, in this case, in North of Africa, we have chosen a few save points. The closest one right now is Casablanca. That's the one we still use. Exactly there. Thank you very much there, Wim. And uh, right now, it is still um, Casablanca. If I crash, if I crash due to my own stupidity, I actually have to take off from Casablanca in the 172, fly in a straight line back towards, in this case, for instance, Tambacumba, and do this flight all over again. I have to fly it all over again. Yes, I do. That is the that is the point of this. I really, really don't want to crash, but sometimes it does happen. I know, I mean, hippos abound, you know, it <laughs> and before you know it, you're flying in Chad again. Yay, Chad, that's so much fun. Yeah, yeah, oh, people cheering, oh, Chad. <laughs> it's like, yeah, having to redo Chad, that was, yeah, that flight was rough. Yeah, that was a rough, rough flight. I have to admit that. The thing is, Chad is basically sand and a lake. That's it. It's sand and a lake. And I mean, the people probably are lovely. The cuisine is probably exquisite. I absolutely believe that. The wildlife is brilliant to see it, but not that up close. I can tell you, not that up close. I mean, that was a little bit too close for comfort. It was a little bit too close for comfort. So let's not do that again, shall we? No, no. Yeah, hippo, that, yeah. Well, I think it's wildlife, actually, uh, we Exclamation mark, wildlife. <laughs> and, the, and, and a few mountains, yeah, it, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Peter, that was the one. <laughs> it used to be Peter, I think. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friends. Flying here over the uh, the uh, River Gambia still. This is still Gambia, the country, actually. And uh, it is now... We are coming to the uh, river's end. In the distance, you can already make out the ocean right there. Italian Yank fan is flying over the ocean. We are actually headed... Um, towards the south? No, towards the east. A little bit more towards the east. And uh, there we will be, le I think, where Jeff is, actually. Jeff, did you take off from... Uh, and, and Red Dragon, are you guys both on Gold Bravo Yankee Delta? I think you guys are. You guys, you guys are thinking... I think you are near Gold Bravo Yankee Delta, yeah. So we are going to land there. We're going to do a touch and go. So get your predictions in. This is the first prediction you can do today. For those that are new here, what is a prediction? Uh, you can do exclamation mark, predict, minus, and then a number. Now, the closer to zero, the softer the landing. So if it's a minus 100, it's between minus 60 and, and 90 is okay, is good, is very good actually, that's considered butter. Uh, between 90 and 150 is an okay, is a good landing, it's fine. Yeah, you did. You take off from Benjul. Yeah, we're going to do a touch and go there again. Uh, but I have to say, I actually did uh, a minus one. Yeah, that was buttery smooth and and it it's it kind of has become a uh, a staple of mine to land as soft as i can now having said that i haven't flown for quite a while wednesday's landing was minus 105 which is not bad if you take all things considered it's not bad so yeah <laughs> we're still trying to figure out how you did that yeah you and me both buddy <laughs> you and me both no clue how i did that actually the, the thing is, uh, Italian Yank fan, um, I think I actually managed a minus zero, but it did not register it because apparently it cannot register minus zero. It cannot register that. So it, it doesn't do a minus one. The, the predicts were working. They were coming in. But when I landed, it did not give a prediction. It was really strange. And I'm not sure there is a stream where that actually happened. So... No clue what went on right there. Still trying to figure that one out. But apparently, if you land at minus zero, it doesn't register. So, <laughs> minus 96. Well, minus 69 is probably already taken by Jamel, if I'm not mistaken. So, it would surprise me if it wasn't. 
So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to turn on the landing lights. We are going to, uh, in a bit, actually, I think we should be able to, let's go to the cockpit right now. Um, boop. We are going to zoom in. Oh God, guys, I love this system. It's so cool. I do no longer actually need to, uh, to adjust the range. You can do that in the cockpit as well. Of course, if you just click right here, you can see it. You can see it change, but in my case, I have this all configured to my class Echo from Shake Pin Prince Simulation. You can see the first planes, exactly. Uh, Shake Prince Simulations.com. If I'm not mistaken, I think that is the one. No, that's not the one. Shake Print Simulation. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's shakeprint.com. Sorry, it's shakeprint.com. www.shakeprint.com. That should be it. The second one. That should be it. All right, we are now 15 nautical miles away from the runway, so that is uh, good. Yep. Yeah, it loads in. Class Echo. Absolutely freaking brilliant piece of kit. Immediately an insta buy, almost, I'd say. Wipers. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what was that? All right, my friends, let's see. We are going to land at uh, runway, 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 run, 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 runway uh, 32, runway 32. Yep, so that is from uh, basically the south. East to the northwest, southeast to north northwest landing. So that is, if you are, we're going to make an approach right there. Do a touch and go, then take off again and head over straight back into uh, to our flight plan. I want to run away, <laughs> run away, run, 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 run away. All right, coming in for a uh, a touch and go landing. Don't trust this guy who killed me last time in Chad. No, it wasn't that bad. Well, it kind of was, but... All right. Let's uh, start to bleed up some speed. I am going to turn off the, uh, the landing lights. I'm going to turn off the landing lights. If you overshoot the runway, it'll be moist. <laughs> Indeed. As long as there's no leakage, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. I hate the word leakage. I absolutely despise that word. All right, my friends. Coming in for a thing and a trail. <laughs> and because not here. True. All right. We are now bleeding off speed. Because what the speed that we want to reach is about 85 to 80 knots airspeed. Uh, you can see that right here. That is what we want. And uh, Devil Dude, thank you, uh, gifted the sub to Leakage. There's actually someone called Leakage. <laughs> of course there is. Of course there is. Of course there is. Wow. That's horrible. That's... Almost as horrible as giving a gift to Amaranth. I'll give him that. I'll give you that. That that is that is bizarre. Planet neutral. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> but yeah, giving a gift to leakage that is um, a well-deserved red card right there, dude. Wow, it's almost the same thing. <laughs> yeah, basically. All right, let's uh, mix sure it up a little bit. Get it? <laughs> mix sure it up. <laughs> I've dropped to one frames per second in the last two minutes. Ow, ouch! You basically turned into a slideshow. First red card of the day. Exactly. Well, you deserve it, buddy. You deserve it. Actually, Scruffy Time deserved one as well. Let's. This one is for Scruffy. If you're still watching Scruff, that one's for you. <laughs> that one's for the Amaranth one. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. How weird would that be if Amaranth came into my stream and we actually got her on Microsoft Flight Simulator? 
How weird would that be? <laughs> that would be so strange. Funny. A boat. You see a boat? You see a boat? Where? Well, if you actually have the uh, uh, Seafront Simulations uh, uh, mod, you can see a lot of boats actually these days. To be honest, guys, get your hands on the Seafront Simulator. It's, I mean, I'm plugging this. Yeah, I'm plugging this like crazy. Get your hands on the Seafront Simulation mod. It's absolutely freaking amazeballs. It's really, really good. It is really good. He, I think he now also released uh, the Hawaiian uh, version. So, yeah. No, I do not have GSX uh, um, Devil Dude because, you know, it, it for my stream, it doesn't really add that much. It is really cool. You can do a lot of very cool things with it. Uh, can I see you? Probably. Probably. Yeah, Seafront Simulation add-ons. Absolutely brilliant. I must have. Uh, no, I do see spider, however. I do see spider right there, so yeah. Uh, GSX is a, um, a program that actually uh, gives you immersion on airports and stuff like that. It makes it all more uh, alive and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, actually, uh, Weem. It's not free. It is payware, if I'm not mistaken. It's like 30 bucks or something like that. But it's, it's, it does a lot of extra stuff uh, on uh, um, uh, when you're flying commercial. It's absolutely brilliant. It's really cool. Yeah. Virtual pass. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. There, there are a few vids out there. Go check them out. They're it's pretty cool, actually. But it's mostly used for commercial playing. So, you know. All right, guys. 80 knots. Let's go uh, to flaps one. Then we zoom in a little bit more. And we should be seeing the runway pretty soon. You should get camp out if you want to virtually camp in remote strips. Oh, that's a pretty cool idea as well. Uh, also, I think there was something like a, a... Currently, there's something like Crystal Lakes is free or something like that. The uh, reference to, uh, of course, uh, uh, Halloween. Uh... There's a, a Crystal Lakes mod which you can get now as well. And there's something spooky going on there as well. I think it's free right now, if I'm not mistaken. So get your hands on that as well. Let's see. How are we doing? We are nicely on approach. Currently at 1600 feet. Make sure you set your altimeter correctly. There is the should be the runway somewhere over there. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. I think I already see it right there. All right, that's cool. Excellent. And we're going to do a touch and go, my friends. Touch and go. I'm going to do a touch and go. Then we're going to take off again. So get your predictions in right now. Get your predictions in. Let's see how smooth we can do this. Then we're taking off and then heading south towards, along the coastline, towards eventually Bissau. That is the capital of Guinea-Bissau. And there we will land for today. There we will land for today. And that is Golf Golf Oscar Victor. Yeah, Golf Golf Oscar Victor. All right. Coming in on a wing and a prayer. Yeah, there's the runway. We're nicely lined up, by the way. Well done, me. <laughs> well done, me. Who knew? I'm actually getting the hang of this flying malarkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm happy, actually, to be flying uh, fully manually again. I'm not flying on autopilot anymore. Uh, I have done a few flights in the past. Flying on autopilot, but you know, flying on. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Devil Dude. Yeah, I'm right, Daniel, right there, Devil Dude. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Devil Dude just passed me right there. Okay, my friends. Let's see. Zoom in a little bit more. Yep. 
Here we go. We are already on flaps one. We will be going over to flaps two, actually. Giving it a little bit more power. If you go to... No, 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 no. No. Yep, that was a... Mistakes were made! <laughs> no! No! Nay, I say nay! All right, we tried to hit about 65 knots. That's the airspeed that we tried to hit. Aiming for the runway, you can see towel. Basically, if you see in the direction of towel right there, you are looking right at the uh, the area that we are headed for. Towel is coming in for a landing as well. All right, my friends. Trying to hit that those 65 knots. That's the airspeed that I want. You're on the runway. Excellent, buddy. You're missing sound for heights, I know. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Retard, retard, retard. Always fun when they call you a retard, you know? <laughs> Always fun. Yeah. Very encouraging. I mean, I know I'm not the best pilot out there. I know, but calling me a retard, I mean, it's like, yeah. Come on. You know? I have feelings too. <laughs> I do. <laughs> anyway. Sorry for that. Sorry about that. Alright, my friends. Lining up for the runway right there. There it is. And we're actually nicely lined up. It's a long runway. Ooh, so that means floaty, floaty. <laughs> Get all my magic carpet and I'll take you for a ride, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get all my magic carpet. The emergency exits are here, 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 everywhere. Thank you for flying magic carpet airlines. <laughs> Chat has turned. <laughs> all right. I can actually, I'm a little bit too high, actually. I am a little bit too high. So, yep. Throttling back. Throttling back. In this case, you basically start to actually fiddle around a lot with your throttle and uh, with your, um, uh, with your uh, trim, of course. Nicely lined up right there. Uh, you need to take a look at uh, C-Ray Elite. Uh, think home built Icon 5, but much more personality. Really? The C-Ray Elite? Has that been released? I think it has. Isn't that on... Uh, Aerosoft has released that? You landed with a minus 75. That's not bad. That's very butter. That is very butter. Between 60 and 90, that's butter, basically. That's considered butter. Yeah, 17 bucks. The thing is, I am very hesitant with, with Aerosoft releases right now. Is it a specific Aerosoft release or has it been released under the Aerosoft umbrella? So it has been made by someone else. Because as I said, I'm still not convinced about the, uh, the Twin Otter. They did not make it. Un oh, okay. So then I might, I might consider it. Right, there are the beeps. Here come the... Why am I suddenly... Wow, I'm suddenly getting a lot of lift. Yeah, and I'm way too high. Look at those, uh, those, those papi lights, look at them. Thermal, yeah! You might think, but of officially thermal shouldn't be in there, shouldn't it? Oh, don't worry about that. Right. It is going to be a touch and go and I'm going to be as smooth as possible. Come on.
Why didn't it register? That was way too smooth. That was super smooth. Why didn't that register? <laughs> I'm absolutely sure it should have. But that was, trust me, that was butter, my friends. That was absolute butter. Yeah, that was really smooth. All right. Touch and go, it was minus zero. Probably, it was something like that. It was something like it Because you guys got... Uh, hang on. Yeah. Thanks for your guess. The prediction should be working. The prediction should be working. So... You actually got confirmation that the predictions were working. That's insane! Did I do it again? Oops, I did it again. I made a minus zero. <laughs> we all demand a refund. <laughs> exactly. And rightfully so. Well, that was the touch and go. Not sure what happened right there, but... Um, yeah, I need to turn around. I need to turn around. But that was buttery smooth. That was buttery smooth. I'm absolutely sure of it. It's definitely 1% fuel as well. That's interesting. Huh. No. Flying through, you guys. <laughs> I'm flying through a cloud of, of cabin crew. I feel loved. <laughs> I feel loved. There we go, up to uh, 2,000 feet again. And back to Guinea-Bissau. That's where we're now headed for. Uh, first, we are flying over another airport. That is going to be Gulf Oscar Gulf Sierra. And from there, we are heading all the way along the river to straight to Guinea-Bissau. So now we are flying along the coastline. I'm heading a little bit towards the coastline, my friends. Heading towards the coastline right there. All right, we are up, up, and away. Leveling off. Getting the range back. There we are. All right. Well, that was buttery smooth. Did not expect that. All right, moving and grooving along. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Flaps are up, yep. We're good. Dog's Breath is in the air. Oz Nomad is right there. We have... Uh, I'm not sure who's flying right beside me in the... Uh, what is that? Is that the Fokker or is that the Junker? I'm not sure. Uh, that's definitely not Weem. I'm pretty sure that's not Weem. Uh, Towel. We have there El Ramabong, uh, Jeff, and there is uh, uh, Devil Dude right there. Doctor Who. If you are in chat, Doctor Who in the Junker. Ah, nice one. Uh, Red Dragon right there, and below us is Jamel, as always. How? Uh, thank you very much there, Austrian Painter. Austrian Painter, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having fun on this fly day. And uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> great to see you back. Thank you very much there, Viper Strike. It is good to be, it's good to be back. It is, it is good to be back. Definitely. I'm so happy to be back, my friends. It's so much, I miss this so much. Now let's get this thing up to speed. Ah, DC, thank you very much for those 400 bits. I truly appreciate that, my friend. Thank you very much for the support on the channel. You are absolutely awesome, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is... Yes, it brings a smile to my face. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Let's uh, level this out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Making sure, making sure that uh, that I'm actually picking up speed again. That should be a good thing. <laughs> good vibes indeed, buddy. We are going to once again bomb every, well, shower every country. Let's let's avoid the bomb thing right now. Uh, shower every country in good vibes. That's what we do. Uh, now, can you explain why Outlook makes me activate my account every day? Uh, company had to can't seem to figure it out. 
Uh, probably a corrupt key or something like that, or a problem win on the uh, confirmation side. So, uh, Zazran, how are you doing? Hope everyone is well. We are doing great, buddy. We are doing great. It is actually our second flight already. Um, yesterday, I would have been flying. Uh, wasn't it for the fact that my nephews were here and they basically caused a absolute disaster area. So, uh, I left them to death for it, but still, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So, I couldn't stream Tiny Emergency yesterday, but uh, they, uh, they are at home again. And I'm having a little bit of fun right here with you guys again. We will be flying, of course, again next Wednesday. Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays are the days that I'm flying. Having a little bit of fun. Nephews are great, they are. Yes, I have... Uh, in the meantime, I actually became an aunt as well. Yes, I got a new niece. So that is great as well. The nephews actually got a little sister in, the, in between. So in a few years' time, she will be... Uh, with a bit of luck, if she wants... She can sleep over with her aunt and uncle as well. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, Golf Oscar Golf Sierra. Yes, we are now headed towards Golf Oscar Golf Sierra. We're not landing there, however. So yeah, we're not landing there. Uh, Infidel Fireman. In so, am I saying this correct? Infidel Fireman. <laughs> Infidel. Yes. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I am guessing, uh, talking about infidel firemen, and we see this. Ha! Ah, yeah. That is probably a capture right there. <laughs> Speaking of wildfires, <laughs> timing is epic there, infidel firemen. Timing is epic. <laughs> well played, sir. I salute you. Definitely. <laughs> All right, my friends, we are now heading along. Uh, <laughs> it's a fellow Scruffy viewer. Oh, awesome. Oh, man, I love Scruffy to death. I love Actually, Scruffy made the ultimate um, um, uh, gift today. He actually gifted Amaranth a sub for my channel. Yeah. He gifted Amaranth a sub. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty insane. That is yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. We had an epic support right here, epic support of the channel, and he, uh, uh, in, in, in the, uh, um, how do you say, in the chaos of all of that, he actually gave, uh, no, the wildfire is not actually a red card, not yet, yeah, <laughs> it was funny as heck, it was, yeah, yeah, that was funny, and, and, as I said, and I actually mean this, if, should it ever happen that Two-Tone Fabio and me come together in real life. Oh, there he is, Scruffy. That one specially for you for the for for uh, for um, uh, uh, for the Amaranth gift <laughs> for the Amaranth gift. Definitely, that one's for you, buddy. Hmm. A red card is what you need when you get to fight that fire. I, I, I it would not surprise me. It would not surprise me. Yes, there he is. Finger on the trigger. Stepped away right after that. Don't worry about it, buddy. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. I know we are all busy and it's all good. It's all fine. Even if I have you for a second only, it makes my day. <laughs> Your presence here, even if it is for but a minute, fills my heart with joy and laughter and socks. Lots and lots of colored mismatching socks. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> We're flying again. Still, uh, actually, we are back in Senegal, my friends. This is, funnily enough, Senegal again. And uh, the thing is, uh, Gambia is actually completely surrounded by Senegal. It's enclosed by Senegal. And from there, uh, once we are in Senegal, we are actually heading south uh, towards Bissau. Um, I have not bought my ticket. I am going to buy it soon, uh, Devil Dude. I am going to buy my ticket soon. But yes, the ticket that, um, that Devil Dude is uh, referring to is on the 5th of November. Remember, remember the 5th of November. We are going to, uh, at least I am going to flight, uh, uh, flight sim. Um, uh, flight sim weekend in Lelystad 
I will be there on the 5th of November having a little bit of fun. So if you are in the area near Lelystad on the 5th of November and you want to meet me, I'm there. So yeah. I'm there. Yeah, something like that. It's like 18 bucks. It's it's basically what you're doing is you're paying for the uh, the Aviodrome um, Museum uh, entrance, and then you can uh, come be that commute. <laughs> I guess I guess you can, buddy. I guess you can. Maybe I'm going to with my glider friends. Always a lot of fun. Always a lot of fun, my friend. Always a lot of fun. So yeah. Uh, what did I come back to? Shoni is talking this cold thing way too far. <laughs> Was he channeling Elmo? Elmo! <laughs> Yay! I can get that high, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure this already came up. Are you attending Flight Sim Expo? Unfortunately, no. And it's the commute thing, yeah. Coming from the Netherlands, it's, uh, yeah, unfortunately. I wish, Scruffy Tam, that I could actually uh, join stuff like that. I mean, it's, but it's simply going to America. It's, yeah, that, that's a little too, uh, and a little too pricey for me right now as well. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> but yeah, I, I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, are they doing the Flight Sim Expo um, virtual as well this year? Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing as I'm not expecting people from the, uh, from the Americas coming over to uh, Flight Sim Weekend here. It's, it's yeah. They are doing the uh, the uh, virtual thing as well. Oh, that might be cool. Maybe I'll be joining that. Maybe I'll be joining that. Yeah, virtual ticket. Exactly. Maybe I'll be doing that. But still, you know, it's uh, it's pretty cool to actually uh, uh, meet you guys in real life and have a little bit of fun. Uh, I will be attending Flight Sim Weekend. Um, you can actually get your tickets from Flight Sim Weekend uh, through the Aviodrome. It's on the 5th and the 6th of, uh, of November. Go check it out. Go give them a little bit of love. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we still got in the air. Osman right here. Uh, Osnomad. Sorry, Osman. Osnomad. Uh, Dog's Breath. Jamel in the distance right there. We have Red Dragon Towel. And uh, we have uh, uh, Devil Dude. Jeff is up in the air. Glider Jeff. Uh, Doctor Who. Not sure who Doctor Who was, actually. Uh, Elrond Babon. Uh, Weem in the air as well. Uh, and this is way too close. We'll figure that one out. So, yeah. Uh, glider updates coming in November, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Need time to check that out. Actually, what's really cool about the glider updates, Zazran, is the fact that um, uh, not only, of course, are gliders working, and with that come thermal updrafts and stuff like that. Uh, I think the thermal updrafts are not currently yet in the in the simulator, but they are coming with Sim Update 11. Uh, but what you also can do is actually hook up your glider to a uh, to a plane. So if uh, if you got a buddy in a plane, you can actually hook up a glider to that and let your buddy pull you up uh, with the uh, with the glider as well. That is so cool. So you can actually collaborate. So yeah, that is really really cool. Really looking forward to tr giving that a try, actually. I'm pretty sure I would absolutely suck at flying gliders, but... Although... Oh, that's Spider! That is Spider! Ah! Spider is flying the Junker. Ah, I love the Junker. It's a really cool plane. 245 uh, days till the Expo. <laughs> that long? Uh, are they going to put the winch in the update? Yes, they are. I think they are, uh, Glider Pilot Jeff. Yeah, I think they are. It's going to be fully working, everything. So, yeah. <laughs> Cause my pilot fright to crash. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm thinking about doing um, the same thing. Yeah, basically. All right, my friends. Moving along, gro moving and grooving towards... Uh, uh, it's called Cap Skiering. Cap Skiering, I think. Golf Oscar Golf Sierra, uh, where we will be doing a flyover. We are flying over that, then heading along south, uh, uh, southeast towards Guinea Bissau and uh, Bissau, uh, the, the the capital Bissau itself, flying towards Go uh, Golf Golf Oscar Victor. Golf Golf Oscar Victor. From there, we are actually moving and grooving along, and we will be landing on Golf Golf Oscar Victor, having a lot of fun. So yeah. Uh, actually, can you tow a glider with an F-18? <laughs> no, 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 not with an F-18, with the Dark Star. <laughs> Rip its wings right off. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're going like Mach 8. 
Mark 8, <laughs> let's have a little... Are, are you moving and grooving? We're now at 20,000... 120,000 feet. Let's disconnect this puppy. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious if you could actually do that. <laughs> oh, that would be a lot of fun. Can I do that? Yes, please. It makes no sense. I know it's not realistic. I don't care. I just want to see it once. Just once. <laughs> Launch a glider into space. <laughs> that would be funny. And talking about uh, talking about dark stars, I know they're not real. I know they're a ficti uh, fictitious plane. I know it's not realistic. But we are going to plan a flight where we take off from Bordeaux fly all the way in one go to Seattle and try to see if we can get that uh, achievement frequent flyer miles and we can do that in an hour and 15 20 minutes something like that the world record for a glider height is 90,000 feet what wait what wait what that's insane that's actually a thing you're kidding 90,000 feet how how the how the H did they ever get that thing up to 90,000 feet? Wow! Volcano, they basically launched it, yeah. With waves, with waves? Let's, hang on a tick, hang, we need to see this. What's it called? The, the Perlon 2, the Perlon 2 Edge Browser. There we go. Ah, uh, the Perlon 2. Oh, that's a glider? That's a glider. <laughs> and a shill. <laughs> yes. That's insane. Fly to exceed... 90,000 feet in altitude. What the hell? That's absolutely insane. Let's see. Berlin 2. The Airbus Perlin 2 glider has set a new world record for glider. It's from Airbus. Speed, soaring to an incredible 52,172 feet above sea level. The record was set Look at that. on September 3rd, 2017 in El Calafate, Argentina. Wow. Chief pilot Jim Payne and co-pilot Morgan Sandercock used the weather phenomenon called stratospheric mountain waves, which only occur a few times a year in a couple of select locations on Earth. Wow! These rising air currents caused by the polar vortex around the Andes Mountains of Argentina helped to push the glider higher into the stratosphere. Airbus How cool would it be if you could do that? To fly an engineless glider oh yeah, I'd do that! For Hell yeah! Discovery. And they seem to be getting closer to achieving that goal without the help of a rocket booster. The Airbus Perlin 2 glider surpassed the previous altitude record a 50,720... Oh, goody, goody, goody. That I wanted to do that. <laughs> Hands poopingly terrifying. Exactly. That's why we do it virtually. ...sponsor Steve Fawcett in 2006. Check out CNET for more space and aeronautical-related videos and news stories... I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Absolutely gobsmacked. How? That is absolutely amazing. The Perlan 2. Good lord, guys. We want this in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And we want those waves as well. We want that. Yes. I'm kind of surprised they made a, a, a pressurized cap. Well, yeah, at 90,000 feet, you kind of have to. Well, you can, you can use the suit. You can use the suit, yeah. You wouldn't think the height would be worth it. It's... 90,000 feet in a glider. That's insane. That is absolutely brilliant. I want to do that. Where can I... Do? I want to do that in Flight Simulator. I want to. Give it to me. Give it to me now. 
York, if you're listening, yes, please. <laughs> yes, can we can we do that? The SR-71 guys basically wore spacesuits. Yeah, they did. Fun fact, actually, if you enjoy stuff, watching stuff like that, uh, and it's not so much as the, uh, the U-2 guys actually wore them as well. The U-2 spy plane wore them as well. Now, currently, the U-2s are no longer officially in use. They are now used by NASA for research. And you can actually fly along with that. Uh, there is a documentary of James May from Top Gear who actually visits, um, uh, visits official Apollo uh, pilots, so official Apollo astronauts, few of them no longer living, by the way, and uh, they, um, uh, he then also uh, gets to fly the U-2 spy plane as well, where you can see he's actually wearing the suit and stuff like that, going up to, uh, I think it's like 70,000 or 80,000 feet or something like that, it's, it's a really cool documentary. Go check it out. Go check it out. In 2020, the USA Air Force awarded the Avionics Tech refresh contract to the Lockheed Martin for upgrading the U-2. Uh, in February 2020, the uh, flight tests and the installation of the new electro-optical reconnaissance systems were completed. Uh, SYERS 2C cameras were manufactured by Colin Aerospace equipped the entire U-2 fleet. I know it's it, they are no longer officially working uh, for as spy planes anymore. That I know that the SR-71 isn't flying anymore as well. Is it or only for NASA or stuff like that? So yeah, we might get the space shuttle. Yeah, because they might, according to the Smith. Exactly, York actually mentioned, hinted at that when they uh, did the release of the video like two months ago or something like that. Something like that. So he was. They were actually hinting at um, uh, at releasing the uh, the uh, the space shuttle as well. Yeah, really interesting. Ashley, how are you doing, my dear? Uh, there, there is a face I haven't seen in forever, and a voice I have not heard in forever. Hello, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, and I'm back to stay. I'm back to stay. And maybe 90,000 feet in a, in a glider will be the length of the first try when Shoney starts his glider career. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back. I am absolutely chuffed to be back. I'm so happy. I am absolutely chuffed. All right, my friends. From here, we're, actually, we're getting clouds. Yeah, we are getting the clouds. We don't have to push them yet. They're, they're like see-through. You don't have to push them. But we can push the clouds. And then push them up. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> there will come a day when, uh, when actually um, Arnold Schwarzenegger will kick my ass from here to Tokyo. Even if he is 20 years older than I. Yeah. <laughs> so, was he just talking about Putin? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 All right, my friends. We are now flying straight towards Golf Oscar Golf Sierra. Uh, from there, we will be heading all the way, uh, let's see, southwest towards Golf, Os uh, Golf Golf Oscar Victor. That is Osvaldo Vieira Airport in Bissau. So, yeah. We are heading over there and we are uh, there. There we will be landing. So, yeah. Amazing for me. Shoney in the sky with planes. Exactly. Shoney in the sky with planes. Doesn't make any sense, but sounds funny. <laughs> Why not do it? Why not? Do not forget to hydrate. And Jamel, do not forget to press that button. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> You're waiting for it, aren't you? <laughs> Nearly drowned myself. There you go, DC. There you go. There is one golden rule on this channel. If Shoney takes a sip of his water, be sure to hit that hydrate button. <laughs> be sure to hit that hydrate. Was about to click that. I know, it's like becoming a sport for you guys. Don't worry, he lost himself when he was 12 and is still looking. Uh, yep. You're absolutely right there, Flo. <laughs> You're absolutely right. As always, buddy. As always. Nice bridge there, by the way. Huh. Cool. There's actually 
Well, it, it's an outline of a bridge. It's not really a, a bridge, but I think there should be a bridge there. And on that off key note, I have to head out. Cheers, Shoney. Good to see you, and please don't sing. You know I will. You know I will. I always do. I always do. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason. <laughs> I'm in the mood for a plane simply because I'm flying. So, yeah. <laughs> Work lurk. Don't worry about that, Italian Yang fan. Great to have you here as well. Have a wonderful Friday, and I will see you again next Wednesday, buddy. I will see you again next Wednesday. And Airlock as well. Airlock, I will see you again on Wednesday as well, my friend. We are now flying towards... Um, what's it called? What's that called, actually? Uh, let me see. Bippity-boo-bah, bippity bay Maps.google.com All right, we are now headed towards... Oh, it's actually called Cops Kering. Oh, that's cool. Ha! Who knew? Well, we kind of did know because the actual airport is called Cops Kering. Way to go, Shoney! You're on the mark again, pro streamer, right here. Yep, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. All right, 3,000 feet, that's a little bit too high. Let's uh, level out here. Although it's a nice view from up here. 3,000 feet is actually not that bad. Graziello, I can see you. <laughs> I see you there. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm out, uh, Today I'm on the West European server. Funnily enough, I have to say, and I'm not sure about you guys, but I haven't seen anyone drop out really. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Waving sounds, waving sounds. <laughs> so, yep. But no, it's it's currently it's actually pretty stable. The the, the fact that uh, that because I think they actually did Vitor. I see Vitor Benting as well there. Um, the fact that they they did they, they did a server transfer to a more stable server environment, if I'm not mistaken, recently. That was like two weeks ago or something like that. A week, one week or two weeks ago. And for now, it's still holding pretty okay. Even on Western Europe. Did not expect that at all. But here we are. Looking at dramatic countryside. I mean, this looks pretty dra dramatic. Let's face it. It looks absolutely amazing here. On the ghost of... Uh, of uh, well, this is Senegal again. We just left Gambia. Funnily enough, we started in Gambia. On Tambacounda. Gesundheit. And we then followed the entire river of Gambia in the country of Gambia. Did a touch and go on uh, Bunyul International Airport, Gulf Bravo Yankee Delta. We are now flying over Cups, um, Cups Kidding, which is Gulf Oscar Gulf Sierra. And from there we are headed southwest towards Bissau. And that is uh, in Guinea Bissau which is Golf, Golf, Oscar, Victor. So we actually did four countries today. Well, three. Well, now officially it's three. It's three. Three. Three countries. Yeah. Uh, testing time to do. Uh, got to test the uh, custom uh, 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 Seattle to see if it works and my payware EDL should work. Uh, got Fatsim. Oh, Fatsim uh, across the pond. Yeah, fun fact, actually. Uh, Ashley. Um, you can actually do cross the pond now in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, you can. We have been testing, and Awold has been testing this as well, because he is doing across the pond uh, for the first time in the, uh, in the Phoenix. The Phoenix uh, uh, A320, he's doing the cross the pond. He has uh, already uh, committed to that. And we did a few tests flying from either he in his case he flew from washington to uh, to amsterdam and in my case i flew from uh, twice from uh, 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 bordeaux to uh, to seattle i will redeem that hydrate there you go buddy and no drops of frames no frame drops whatsoever nine times out of ten as soon as you cross from one continent to the other continent either from north uh, America to Europe or vice versa, we always had frame drops. 
No longer. Yeah, in x Plane 11. I don't feel I trust x Plane 12 enough yet plus performance. I know, I know. And it would make sense in your case to actually go to uh, to uh, x Plane 12. I, I kind of figured that as much, yeah. I kind of figured that. But that's fine. No, it, it, it is apparently now possible to do flights like that. Uh, yeah, it's it seems to be fixed, Alpha 1. I mean, I have did two flights consecutively and no frame drops whatsoever. It was smooth in the cockpit. It was smooth outside. Uh, uh, even when I landed at, uh, at uh, Seattle Airport, no problem whatsoever. But not only that, I was also running the heavy mod as well. Now, it's well known that the heavy mod actually um, actually uh, has a performance impact on your machine, on, on Microsoft Flight Simulator, but none, none. So, yeah. Uh, x 12 is a must for me, so which, as, as you said, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly, I know, because you basically invested completely in x 11, and I get it that you go to x 12. In my case, I to be honest, I'm still not convinced about x 12. I am not. I know the 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 um, uh, the flight model is perfect, but then again, that's a given because it was already perfect in X Plane 11. So it would be strange if it wasn't. So yeah, yeah, I know, I know, and 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 I, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely convinced that there is room for X Plane still prepared and Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's more than enough space for everyone to enjoy flight simming the way the way they like it and prefer it. But, yeah, it's... Shoney likes to look out of the window. I do! You're absolutely right, DC Viper. I absolutely do. So, yeah. A lot of beer tokens on this. True. True. Uh, will Shoney get the 4090? I can tell you right now, that will not happen. No, I will not get a 4090. No. No. I think, to be honest, it's too expensive first and it's becoming even more expensive right now i mean it's like it i think the um uh, the price of nvidia the uh, was like something like 18 or 1900 dollars currently i can pick up a 20 uh, or 1490 here in the netherlands uh, the cheapest price i think is like 22 or 2300 euros that's a whole lot of machine if I just get a 4080, I still save so much money. I can basically get an entire new PC with a 4080 nearly for that same. It's it's it it is massive. That is true. So I had to get have to get a completely new case. That is it. It will not fit in most computer cases. If you actually get that, it's it's yeah. Think how much Shoney will save on his heating bill. Um, Oz Nomad, I'm currently running a 2080 Ti. Trust me, it's not frosty here. No. I'm sweating my Royal Rastafarian ninis off. So, yeah. A 6500 XT, but that's a, that's a great card. There's nothing wrong with it. The beauty, I think, still of Microsoft Flight Simulator is the fact that you can actually still get this running pretty okay on a 1050. A 1050 will run this pretty okay. Uh, is too much power waste. Six, yeah, exactly. Six hundred watts. That's a whole. And, and currently, uh, my my machine is drawing a whole lot of power already. And let's face it, guys, with the energy crisis in Europe going on, it's not something you want to do right now. It's it's yeah, it's 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 insane. It's absolutely insane. So yeah, you know, it's. I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> it's expected for Germany. Yeah, it's you know it's it's that. So in in my case, they now uh, basically unreleased the 40, 80, 12 gigabyte. Unreleased. Come on, guys. Let's face it. It was a rebrand. You never should have mentioned it. But hey, okay. The 40, 80 is now the the 12 gigabyte is unreleased. We now also, we only can get the, the, the 16 gigabytes. So yeah, you know, 4070 or 4080 with Microsoft Flight Simulator will always give me even more uh, frame rates currently than I have with my 2080 Ti. 
So that is the way to go, in my opinion. If I would be upgrading, that would be the way to go for me. However, if you guys remember, I built my PC custom by myself and it's completely water-cooled, which means I, and, and it's hard tubing. So I have to redo my entire PC. Yay, so looking forward to that. Yeah, so it's, uh, that's a thing. So it, yeah, you know, guys, it's, it's, to be honest, do I think the 4090 is currently worth it? No, I would not go for the 4090. If I got it for free, sure. <laughs> sure, if someone handed me a 4090, I would not spit on that. No, I would not. But right now, no, that's not something I do. No, 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 no. Uh, what price of electricity uh, when renewals... Uh, 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 what's the price of, of the electricity when renewals aren't available? I have no idea, buddy, but it's, it's, it's expensive. New nuke plants will also... Plus, yeah, exactly. We'll be upset with getting a 1490 for free. I know, right? <laughs> I'm on a GTX 1080 with 99 FPS and it looks good. Exactly. But amazing for me, that is exactly the point I'm trying to make. That is actually the point I'm trying to make. This simulator will run perfectly good and it will look, look perfectly smooth and perfectly epic on even a 1050 card. A 1050 GTX, it will run fine. It will run absolutely fine. So, yeah. Let's see if we can ban you. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, it's, you know, it's... <laughs> oh, <mums. laughs> we need an adult. We need an adult. <laughs> yes, I need an adult. I always need an adult in my life. That's why I married the missus. She's the adult. Yep. Yep, <laughs> she's definitely the adult. <laughs> In this relationship, trust me, she's the adult. But yeah, it's uh, they are almost uh, very uh, old. Don't uh, think it's a good plan. But the thing is, you know, it's it's. Uh, uh, what he, what he said was actually that I uh, 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 if I wanted to get more viewers and stuff like that, it's it's, you know, it's basically the the, the standard spam. Moonfall. It's the standard spam, you know. It's you know, get more viewers, become more famous. I find where I am right now. I love my viewers. I have the best community. No, exactly, nothing interesting. I have the best community out there already. It's it's absolutely brilliant. So yeah. I mean, it's it's you know, I have the the greatest community in the world, 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 world. No, <laughs> it's a yeah. I'm good. I'm absolutely good. Let's see, my friends. How far off are we? We are a little over 50 nautical miles away. Half an hour still in flight. And then we should be touching down. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's going great. Going great. That will then be the end of our week today. Uh, we will be back, of course, next Wednesday, having a lot of fun, having a lot of joy, spreading good vibes all over uh, all over each and every country. We will be going, uh, skipping over a few countries quite quickly, actually, in the coming weeks. And as you all know, I used to fly over every freaking millimeter of every country in the world. We're not going to do that in the future. We're going to dial that back a little bit. We are going to fly to every single country in the world. We'll mostly be sticking to coastline or interesting areas, of course, where we can. But yeah, it's, 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 yeah. It's just having a little bit more fun and looking around. So yeah, uh, never add another monitor to the SIM PC when, with all the cards. If you need it for uh, instruments like me, connect it to another machine, like an old laptop. Yeah, that might be a better idea, in, in if, especially if you have older cards, uh, especially. And in my case, I'm running it on three monitors right now, which is fine in 4040p, actually. So that's good. Uh, so yeah. So it's 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 all fine. It's all fine. Uh, no, said no, no. I, I 
So no Saturday stream because that will be a good time to raid Ali. I know, but I know, buddy, I know. But no, unfortunately, I I, I have plans tomorrow, so that came up. I I was thinking about doing actually a a Saturday stream just to uh, compensate for the th uh, for the stream yesterday, but unfortunately, yeah, um, <laughs> the missus came from no 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 no. I love you to death. Thou will not stream. Thou has things to do with me. And I said, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna touch you and hug you and hug you and touch you and touch you and hug you and I'm gonna cut the charge. Hi, George. Yeah. So it's uh, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Honey do list exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Love you. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, devil dude. I will not deny that. Yeah. Thank God for that. Could you imagine me having that having to decide everything? Really? Really? Like I'm a fifteen year, a fifty year old man in in a, I'm a twelve year old boy in a fifty year old body. Maybe not the best idea in the world. Yeah, and and the weird uncle that's always fun. If you get that title, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength here. That weird uncle that's always fun. Yeah, if that if if an eight year old can relate to you, just perfectly fine. <laughs> you know. <laughs> maybe just maybe you should make the decisions in the house just maybe <laughs> just saying <laughs> nothing wrong with that shinari safari exactly you're absolutely right buddy how are you doing by the way shinari safari hope you're doing well hope you're doing well my friend guys don't grow up our hobbies just get more expensive exactly you are absolutely right you can tell the age of a man by the pricing of his hobbies. That's exactly right. You're absolutely right. If it goes up, they get older. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. By the way, my friends, dramatic countryside right here. This is absolutely brilliant. Levy boy, thank you very much, buddy. I am glad to be back. I am at the natural inflation. Exactly that. Yep, 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 yep. Natural inflation. Uh, yep, the prices just keep rising. Ooh, that's a good toy. Me wanna. Uh, that's the same. Oh, yeah. Rudder pedals. Remember that, guys? Remember that? The rudder pedals. Yeah, prices have gone up. I still want a Charlie pedal. I still... I will, although I am going to test it on the 5th of November. They have a stand where I can probably test the Charlie rudder pedal. So, fingers crossed. And maybe, maybe I can get also to test the... Um, uh, let's see. The, 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 uh, the Turtle Beach... Um, the Turtle Beach rudder pedals, they're coming out as well. Turtle Beach is coming out with rudder pedals. And, of course, there are the, the rudder pedals for uh, Thrustmaster, which I really want to try out. I mean, the expensive ones. But, you know, really want to give those a go. Make sure to see what that is like. So, yeah, I'm basically waiting for uh, the review on the Charlies. Me too, buddy. Yeah, I'm so looking... I'm so interested in seeing how those turn out. Yeah. So, I am really, really am interesting. So... The MFC Grosswinds are super nice and not as expensive. Looking into... Do you have a link for that, DC Viper? Do you have a link for that? But yeah, it's, it's, I'm really looking forward to seeing... And I think Thrustmaster is coming out with new rudder pedals as well. Um, if I saw correctly, Turtle Beach is now coming out with a single joystick, which has HOTAS properties on it. It's just one joystick, but it has flaps options and throttle options on there. It has... A screen as well, an LCD screen as well. So really, it looked really cool. So yeah, have have the terabyte TV on pre-order. Ah, the Turtle Beach. You have the Turtle Beach on pre. But that do you have the Turtle Beach um, um, yoke system on pre-order, or do you have the rudder pedals on pre-order, or the joystick? Which one, uh, Oz, uh, Oz Nomad? And I think it's really cool, actually, that Turtle Beach has come back into the flight simming scene. Well, it's not really like they they were always there. Were they there? Have they ever made in the past stuff for flight simming? 
You have the yoke already, rudder pedals are on pre-order. Ah, yeah, I, I'm hearing very good things about the rudder pedals, actually. That's why I'm kind of on the... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, you know? I'm, I'm not sure about which ones I should be getting. I mean, I was very, very partial to the, uh, the honeycomb. You guys know that. I love the honeycomb stuff. I have the alpha yoke. I have the bravo throttle system. So, yeah, the Charlie rudder pedals would really accentuate that. You know, it's like, oh, it's low. <laughs> it looks all the same. That's pretty. Very OCD. But, um, yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of a little bit on... I'm not sure, actually, with the release of the, uh, the Turtle Beach ones. I hear very, very good things about them. Uh, so, I'm kind of unsure, actually. I really would like to give them a try. So, yeah. Uh, this uh, uh, this is becoming a, a big business. Bye bye niche. That, well, uh, amazing for me. That is actually true. That is quite true. If you guys remember uh, two years ago, and yes, it has been that long ago since the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Two years ago, you could not get your hands on a a a a, a yoke system, a, a, even a Hotez or a simple joystick. Everything was sold out when Microsoft Flight, Sim Flight Simulator came out. Of course, that market has leveled out a bit again, and it's everything is available again. Mm, kind of. I mean, let's face it, economies in the world, shipping was kind of a problem at a certain point. But still, you know, it is a lot easier to get your hands on stuff again. But there was simply no way you could get your hands on any peripheral for flight simming when Microsoft Flight Simulator was released. This hadn't has did, that didn't happen for years before that, so it was quite new. I talked to Jeremy from Flights and Webshop about that, and he was completely overwhelmed by the uh, by the amount of attention that he got, and and, and his, his entire uh, uh, his entire stock was sold out within the blink of an eye. It was absolutely amazing. So yeah, <laughs> ever given <laughs> what's that? Ever given what is that? Aren't the Charlies like 300? Yes, DC Viper. That is one of the reasons why I am a little bit on the uh, on the fence about the Charlie rudder pedals, actually, actually as well. Yeah. I mean, that is one of the reasons why I'm on the fence about the Charlie rudder pedals. I mean, let's face it. Before a year ago, you could get your hands on an Alpha yoke or a Bravo throttle for like $250. Or euros or pounds, something like that. I mean, let's face it, euro, pounds, and dollars are basically the same. So yeah, I mean, but but right now all the prices have gone up by at least a hundred dollars. So you're paying at least three hundred and seventy-five dollars for either the Alpha yoke system, the Bravo throttle system, or a Charlie rudder pedal. Now, having said that, I still think it is very much worth it. I still think it is very much worth it. It is very, very good stuff. It's solid. It's 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 great. It it has a lot of features. It's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, you know, it's a lot of money. Let's face it. Especially these days, it's just a lot of money. It is. Uh, not only uh, did the manufacturer underestimate the demand created by Microsoft Flight Simulator, but uh, the human malware. <laughs> human malware, I need to remember that one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, ship that blocked the Suez Canal, uh, That uh, that's a mod on flightsim.io. It is, it is actually, it is. Oh, the Ever Given was the cargo ship. Yeah, that blocked the Suez, you're right, that was the Ever Given, you're right. And it was actually unblocked by a Dutch company as well. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, Turtle Beach uh, rudder pedals almost as much as I paid for the yoke and throttle. Exactly. Yeah, it, it, I mean, let's face it. This is not a cheap hobby. It isn't. I, I want the honeycomb yoke, but the cost. I know, Ashley. And it has gone up quite a bit. You need a good throttle. Yeah. I still recommend the, uh, the the Honeyco Bravo. I still recommend that uh, Shinari Safari. Even though it has gone up with $100, I still recommend it. I mean, as if there is one thing I can recommend that is still worth that $350, $375 price tag, is it is the Bravo throttle system because the way you can configure it. It's simply because of that. You actually you get all the, the commercial uh, levers with it, you get the, the GA levers with it. It is absolutely worth 
this, that stuff. It is. Uh, it's a honeycomb uh, yoke or a joystick, uh, which I want to uh, try in the flight sim, uh, lady stuff. Yeah, but that those places give you the option to actually do that. Yeah, I mean. Uh, when you have events like that, you know, where all the, the, uh, the suppliers and all the, uh, uh, the vendors are available there, go give it a try. Uh, to be, uh, uh, Devil Dude, um, uh, Jeremy from Flights and Webshop will have a stand there as well, so you can check out a lot of stuff there. I think he also is bringing along his complete surround flight simulator cockpit stuff as well, so it's going to be pretty cool, yeah. And of course you have cockpit builders there and stuff like that, so it's going to be pretty insane actually. Uh, the price of stuff going up is insane. I know Ashley, it's 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 so expensive these days. And as I said, it's it's like, you know, the uh, the, the the fact that you actually used to pay 250, 275 dollars for either a honeycomb product, be it the Bravo or the the uh, the, the Alpha. That was really, really good value for money. Really good value for money. Now it has gone up with like $100. You're paying two, three fifty, three seventy five. It's still worth it in my opinion. It's still worth it because let's let's see what's beyond that. What 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 else do you choice do you have? You have the Turtle Beach, which is um, of course a very good idea. I mean the Turtle Beach. I have not tested it, so I don't know. Uh, there is, of course, the Thrustmaster TCA pack. I tested that. You saw that. It, the joystick, the yoke itself is very good, especially if you fly a lot of Boeing. Especially if you fly a lot of Boeing, it's very good. I tested it. It's, it's different. It's very good. It's very responsive. More responsive, in my opinion, than the, uh, the, than the Honeycomb, even. But the throttle system that comes with it, I'm not sold on that one. I'm just simply not sold on that one. So what you could do is actually get the if, if if you're up for that get the bra uh, the the boeing thrustmaster boeing yoke and then get the bravo throttle system from honeycomb you're absolutely set so yeah you never like the thr the uh, the thrustmaster yoke well no okay then then you're basically stuck with yeah you're getting back to either turtle beach or honeycomb those are the only actually two options you have or, of course, Logitech. Logitech is still there, but that's more if you're starting out. So, yeah. If you're starting out, Logitech is absolutely fine. You get a very nice th throttle system. I used it for nearly a year, if you guys remember. I used it for quite a while. Until I got my hands on this stuff. But this is, yeah, this is next level, basically. And other than that, beyond this, the only other jump you can make is Yoko. And But a Yoko yoke actually starts at $900 and up. And then you are getting into diminishing returns. I have tested the Yoko yoke as well. I've done that. You guys remember. But to be honest, I don't think it's worth the extra $600 that you're paying for, uh, for just the yoke. In my case, take that $600 and buy a very good throttle system and a, and, and a rudder pedal. Yeah. The Yoko is insane, but I have to say, it is an absolute tank. If you can get it for cheap and get your hands on one, you will not be disappointed. Trust me on this. The resolution on that thing is amazing. It, it almost feels like it's forced feedback as well when you use it. it it's absolutely stunning. It's just a tank. But it's, in my opinion, it's not worth the $600. It's the extra $600 I'm talking about. It's, it's not $600, it's $900 and up. So yeah, I, I don't think it's worth it. I'm, but that's just me. That is just me. In that case, I would say get your hands on, for instance, an Alpha Yoke, a Bravo Throttle, a Charlie Rudder Pedal, and you even have money to spare for a Class Echo. So... <laughs> You have a complete kit just for the for the yoke alone. That, I mean, yeah. That's a no-go for many. Exactly, Ashley. It is. It is. It is. It's mostly used for actual full-blown cockpit builders. That's what it's used for. And I get that. I absolutely do. And it's for that, it's worth its money. But in our case, it, it you're talking about diminishing returns. And in this case, 
is the extra uh, $600 you're paying on top of the $300 you're already paying, is that extra $600 worth the, the increased resolution? In my case, I'd say no. I'd say no. Rookie, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Cockpit Builders is a whole, there, a whole other ball game. It is. It is. It absolutely is. I agree. I completely agree. It absolutely is. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, as I said, diminishing returns. Diminishing returns. That That is the thing. And it's, yeah. For adverts, I don't have adverts on my channel. I don't have adverts on my channel. I don't. What are you talking about? Adverts? I should not have adverts. I have adverts? Since when? I think I only have that at the start if you're not a... Uh, if you're not a sub. If you're not a sub, you're getting an advert. Otherwise, you should not be getting adverts. That's strange. Well, I, I'll look into that. Maybe it's something that, that's been enabled? I don't know. I, I don't know. I will look into that. You had an ad earlier. Pre-sub. But that was only when you entered the channel. Uh, is it, Wim? I'm confused. I'm confused. Nothing since. Hmm. Weird. Twitch likes to play silly bugger with the setting. I know. I'll, I'll look through them. Yeah. About five minutes in. Really? That's weird. Twice in the beginning. Sorry. Sorry about that, Ashley. I have no clue what's going on. As you guys know, I usually try to disable as much at first as I can because I just think they're annoying. So, yeah. I just think they're absolutely annoying. Ah, okay, okay. I'll look into it. I tried some yokes, but I still prefer my very old Microsoft uh, F2, FF2 joystick. So smooth and force feedback assisted, still a joy. But that's the thing. That is the thing, you know. It's it's. Um, if you if you uh, you you can't stick with something like even as simple as a a, a control. We still have members here that um, that still fly on a controller like this. So something similar to this. You know, they're still fly on that. I use it for outside views, but it's all up to what is your preference. I mean, we have had people here flying with just keyboard and mouse. Ween has done so for quite a while, actually. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all down what, what do you prefer and how quickly do you want to go down that rabbit hole <laughs> today? <laughs> Well, there you are. Still flying on the keyboard and mouse. You insane bugger, you. <laughs> Love you to death, buddy. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, it all comes down to your personal preference and how quickly and how far would you like to go down that rabbit hole. And it is a rabbit hole, exactly. It really is. Once you get down on that, I have a whole dose, but I can't be bothered to set it up. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's what the fun is all about, isn't it? That is what the fun is all about. But yeah, my friends, it is, you know, the thing is that, that um, it all comes down to personal, personal preference. How much money can you spend? I mean, that's also a thing. And of course, how far would you like to go down the rabbit hole? How far? That's all up to you. By the way, my friends, we are nearing our destination, which means we have to see uh, what airport we are landing on. Let me have a look-see. Let me have a look-see. Uh, what airport, uh, or at least what runway are we landing on? We know what airport we are landing on, but what runway are we landing on? We are landing on a runway. Boop. That is Gold Gold Oscar Victor. Boink. So we are landing on runway 21. Runway 21. All right. So we uh, are landing towards the sea. Landing towards the sea. Uh, Amica, dude, no, oh, let's give a little bit of good vibes to Amica, my friends, his son just bumped his head, he is in the hospital right now, 
Let's give a lot of... Let's give a wall of good vibes. Let's give a wall of good vibes. There we go. Can I do this? Yes, I can. There we go. Good vibes, Amica. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope Louie is doing well. And I'm off course again. Of course I am. There we go. There we go. A wall of good vibes. Absolutely brilliant, my friends. Oh, it could be a glider pilot that... Uh, well, you should be able to... Oh, there's also... Uh, huh, interesting. Um, if you get that, by the way, the good vibes uh, uh, line, you can simply unlock it. Uh, you can unlock the good vibes, if I'm not mistaken, with the uh, frequent Choni miles, if you want to. So you can simply oh you're not a sub but that's fine. If you want to you can you can cheaply unlock every single emote that you want. You can no 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 you don't have to be sub. That's the thing. You if you are sub you can actually get them for free. But um, fun fact you can easily buy them with uh, with the uh, with the uh, emotes. I made the price as low as I could. So you can, uh, if you're not a member but just a follower you can easily do that you can easily oh thank you very much for that sub oh <laughs> i really do appreciate that ashley i really do thank you very much thank you for that support hey, you're absolutely brilliant thank you <laughs> all right my friends moving and grooving we are now uh, let's see 10 nautical miles away so we are going to set up for the landing so that means we are actually going uh, full uh, on the uh, on the on the mixture, right there. As you can see, I'm throttling back again. I'm throttling back, and now we are going to uh, bleed off the speed. Bleed off the speed. Yeah, also, if I'm not mistaken, it should be. Ah, of course, DC Viper. <laughs> That was actually the final sip. Strangely enough, it's... Remembering, apparently... Yeah, that's because somehow it didn't trigger on the other airport. It, it didn't trigger. That's weird. But the predictions are registering. They are registering. So, not sure what's going on right there. Not sure what's going on right there. Let's see, my friends. We are coming in for a landing. I'm actually turning on the landing lights again. Ah, Towel, thank you very much for those bits. You're absolutely brilliant. Thank you for that support, Towel. You have given all so much already, but yeah. Not so soft again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. That was so strange. Why didn't it register? I'm still, still wondering why. All right. Ah. All right. We are now at 81. DC, thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much for those 100 bits. That is generous support right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I truly appreciate that, my friend. I really do. I really do appreciate every single bit. I really do. And that would mean, actually... That we would be on a second hype train of today. That would be the second hype train. That's insane. It has remembered my previous entry. Yeah, it somehow it didn't register my landing. So it remembered the other landing. That's so weird. All right, buddies. Let's go. Now, you guys remember, stay in the air. I'm coming in for the first landing. Then you guys are coming in. And we are then going to actually uh, uh, do the, uh, the, the, the end of the day stream. There we are. You should be seeing it on top. There. Oh, good lord, DC. Wow. Oh, man. That is extremely generous of you. Uh, Doctor Who, Shinari Safari, Kemko, and Hawken also got, are now part of the cabin crew. And we have a, a second high train running today. A second one. That is awesome. Thank you very much, DC. That is extremely generous of you. 300 bits on top of that. Guys, guys, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Extremely nice. 
Nice, nice. Thank you very much. Thank you for that support. You guys are... Shout out Bell with 100 bits as well. You guys, the support is incredible today. The support is absolutely amazing. I am blown away by your support. I'm absolutely blown away. That is insane. Devil Dude, AJ Rawlings, just another sub on that as well. You are a trooper today. You have done so much already. You're insane. We're glad you're back. So here's our welcome. Well, I feel absolutely overwhelmed with your support. I really do. I really, really do. And also, I am going to crash. I am absolutely going to crash. Yep. <laughs> Your guys are making me crash, aren't you? That would be funny. And no. By the way, guys, look at this. The area is absolutely amazing. Just quickly, quickly, quickly. Look at that. Look at that. Really cool here. Really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. But I'm at 600 feet. That's too low. That's way too low. So we need to throttle up a little bit. There we go. Throttle up. Throttle up. One oh one. <laughs> well, yesterday you were exactly uh, nearly spot on there, uh, my friend. You were nearly spot on. All right. All right. All right. And welcome, Kemco, to the uh, cabin crew. Of course, you can now also spam the chat with your uh, with your emotes as well. With your emotes as well. Where the hell is that airport? It should be. Is it there? I cannot see that airport. It should be somewhere over here. Below you. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Jamel. Oh, there. There it is. Ah, okay. Uh, the respawn location for the crash. It's Casablanca. Exactly, Shadowbell. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I really, really don't want that. It's Casablanca. Not something I'm looking forward to. You're right over it. Weem. Ah, uh, okay. It's over there. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. All right. I'm now at still at 600 feet, which is a little bit too low for my comfort. A little bit too low. <laughs> Happy it ain't a hundred years ago, otherwise you would have spawned in Innsbruck. I know, right? Fun fact, actually, Devil Dude, and this holds true for everyone. When we were flying over, um, uh, we already had flown a large part of Northern Africa. So we crossed over from Northern, over, uh, Northern Africa over to the Canary Islands and the Azores. Uh, that was the moment that actually Jamel reminded me of the fact that the Canary Islands and the Azores are part of Europe. Which would have meant, if I would have crashed on either the Canary Islands flight or the Azores, I would have started, would have to start in Innsbruck again. Not in Casablanca, which was the nearest. You crashed. No. No. Oh. The South Pole. <laughs> I have no idea. Probably somewhere in Argentina, I'm guessing. If I would have get if I if I would have taken a guess, I think it would be Sir Argentina. But F for glider pilot, guys. F for glider pilot, Jeff. Unfortunately, incredible, my friends. A level two high train after a level seven high train in one sitting in one stream. That is something I think I don't think we ever had that. I don't think we ever had that. Insane. Oh, there is. Is that the wrong way? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Found it. Stay in the air, chat. Exactly. Yeah, stay in the air. Don't start landing yet. Don't start landing. 
Yep, you're all coming in for a landing and we're going to focus on it and make a show out of it. I'm starting the music, I'm cueing the music. And then we are all coming in for a landing. So here we go. Making that turn. There is the air, there, there's the runway. Now, if you need to land, that's fine. But if you can stay in the air, please stay in the air. All right, nearly there. No, nope, that's not what we're looking for. There we are. That's what we need to focus on. I'm looking forward to the visit of the former French colonies in, in <laughs> Innsbruck is lurking around the corner again. Yes, it is, Charlebel. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Nearing stall speed, by the way. That's not good. So, yeah. And again, I get a lift. I'm getting a lot of lift. This better be a butter landing. I hope so, buddy. I hope so. But it's looking good. I'm nicely aligned. This is not bad. This is not bad at all, actually. I'm a little bit low, but, you know, you know me. I need to refill coffee and water. I was nicely aligned, now I'm not. All right, all right. But I can't look away. <laughs> We're nearly there, nearly there. Nearly there. There we are, there we are. Yep, 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 yep. Straightening it out. I'm bouncing all over the place. I got the, I get the feeling that I'm, I'm, I'm bouncy, bouncy. Way too high again, that's fine. Picking up a little bit of speed. It's fine as well. And then leveling out. Here we go. It's not registering again, is it? It's not registering again. That wasn't a zero. I'm definitely, that wasn't a zero. The other one could be. It was good. It was good. It was good. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It was a damn good landing, but let's see. Where is the airport itself? I think it's over there somewhere. So yeah, it felt like it was very smooth. It felt like it was very smooth. I, that really wasn't that bad. Although, I have to look into and see what's happening with... Uh, I have to see what's happening with uh, Sim Toolkit Pro. Kind of annoying, actually. But then again, it is beta version, so... Maybe there's something going on there. Don't know. Sorry for that, my friends. I am absolutely sorry. It felt better. It felt, it felt okay. It felt okay. It didn't feel like the 105 that we did uh, last Wednesday, so it didn't feel like that. Now I am going to see if I can park it right. What's that? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll head off here. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. Oh, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. There we go. Taxi lights are on. Landing lights are off. There we go. And I'm going to park it here at the end. Shortest taxi ever. Yeah, usually I'm taxiing all over the place. Good, we had some bad ones, haven't, didn't we? Oh my lord. We really had a few bad ones, bad ones out there. All right. I am parking right here. I am setting the brakes, keeping the engine running. It's going to probably say, no, it is not. That's good. All right, camera, showcase. Uh, let me see, 
reset position. Boop. And drone speed. All right. Then, uh, that is not the one that I want. Hang on, hang on. Nearly there. Nearly there. All right, Jamel is coming in. Are you going to land or are you going to buzz the runway? He's buzzing the runway, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yo, that was Jamel. Let's see if we can actually speed up the camera a little bit. Because this is way too slow. Not working again. Why is this not working? Yeah, that's better. That's better. There it is. Now it picked it up. Vitor is coming in for a landing right there. Followed by Weem. Vitor floating a little bit. I think Weem is already on the ground right there and kind of disappearing. Vitor is still floating. <laughs> still floating. Get that thing on the ground, Vitor. <laughs> Get that thing on the ground. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Come on. It's very quiet. I can tune it up a little bit. That better? Ah, better. Excellent. Red Dragon on the ground there. In the Steerman. Whoa. Unfortunately, I don't think I have that model. So, C-172. That is Dog's Breath right there. Nice landing, buddy. Oz Nomad coming in in the 172 as well. Oh, that is a butter landing, if there ever was one. Yes, very well done. Nice, nice, nice. We have, there is Devil Dude. Devil Dude, the hero of the day. The generous gifter himself. The generous gifter. Donnie 666 in uh, the game, but Devil Dude as we know him. Here he comes. Here he comes to save the day. Mm, there it is, there it is. Back to the float. Back to the float. And... Oh! Even more floaty. Even more floaty. Bounce float. Bounce float. Bounce float. But not on the ground. Yes! There he is. Definitely on the ground. There he is. We have Jeff. Jeff. Floating along as well. Coming in for a landing. Glider to pilot Jeff. On the ground. Followed immediately by Spider. And that is... Who is in there? Towel as well. Towel, who already flew this yesterday. Landed for the second time, my friends. Landed for the second time. Graziello coming in for a landing. Flying in the Shoney Gaming cabin crew, cabin crew colors. Right there. If you want these, you can download them. They're available to you. Still floating. Jamel is coming in as a landing because uh, Graziello is still, <laughs> still floating there. Jamel is on the float as well right here. Doctor Who following after that. Hey, Joey. Good to see you, buddy. Enjoy the rest of, our fr of your Friday. We will, buddy. We just coming in for a landing here. Uh, is Graziello on the ground? Yes. Graziello is safely on the ground. Sorry we missed your landing, buddy. Uh, Doctor Who coming in for a landing as well. Quickly picking him up. Yep. Made the touchdown. And last but not least, El Romabon coming in. There is the entire cabin crew. Ah, what a sight, my friends. What a sight. How I have missed this. How I have missed this. Now, please, 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 all join up on me if you can. We're going to take a nice picture of this. Join up on me if you can. Here we are, Gnei Bissau. Epic stream indeed. Epic stream indeed. We had great weather. We had brilliant, brilliant, brilliant views. They were absolutely amazing. The support was incredible. The absolutely incredible. And I mean, what more could you want on a Friday? What more could you want on a Friday? As a streamer, this is what it's all about. This is why I do this. This this is why we do this. Exactly this. This is, yeah. This is what makes my heart thump like no other. Like there's no tomorrow. Like like crazy. All right, my friends. Let's line this up. Oz Nomad, come and join us. Doctor Who, Elrond, 
Come along, buddies. We have the best stream, the greatest host, and the best, <laughs> the best, in, it's, it, it's just the best in the world. Moonfall, thank you very much. That is extremely kind. I'm glad you're not in a boy band. I know, I probably will be like Robbie Williams. That shit crazy. Yep. <laughs> yes, he is crying. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's... Well, I have done so before on stream. <laughs> I'm not to say... No, I'm proud enough to say Jeff F. Ah, oh, no. No, Jeff. No. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Oh, no. Doctor Who coming in there. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I see it. Jeff right there. Um, Jeff? Jeff? Jeff, just between you and me? I think you're the wrong way up. I could be mistaken, but you're... I think you're the wrong way up. He's taking a nap. Leave it there, Jeff. Leave it there. Don't log out. Don't log out. <laughs> Good to have you back. Glad to be back. All right, my friends. I'm going to take the picture right here. Nope, that's the wrong one. I need to do that. The snapshot has been taken. There it is. I will post it, of course, in our stream. Paste. Unknown. And in clips and highlights, it's right there. Thank you all very much for this extremely extreme your your name tag is still there jeff your name tag is still there <laughs> your name and that's what counts that's what counts thank you all very much for this incredible stream today thank you all for this amazing support it has absolutely been mind-blowing you guys are the absolute best you're the absolute best thank you very much for being here i will be back on Wednesday, I will be back on Wednesday. We will be taking off from Guinea-Bissau, continuing our flight. There is already a flight plan available for that, but I will also make the Thursday and Friday flight plan available for you guys as well. And guys, all that's left for me to say is thank you very much. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to laugh and smile. Good vibes to you all. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye all, my friends. Bye-bye all. I mean, the wing flex, it is so cool that it's going up and down. I feel bouncing. I feel bouncing. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Three, yeah. two, one, zero. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Chew that goodness, whoa, baby. Whoa. Oh, you know you like it. Oh. Oh, you know you like it, Tony. <laughs> wow. I did not expect that. They move. Yeah, one of the big five. Baganario, yes. No! <laughs> Thank you all very much for being here. Have a wonderful weekend, and I hope to see you again soon. Next on Wednesday. Bye-bye.